Hello, everybody. I'm G from the F Word, and uh, I'm here with uh, Jimmy. Hello, hello. How's it going? Good, you? Good. If uh, you dial back the clock about a year, you were here. Yeah, a year and some, yeah. A year and some. And we did a full Infinity War breakdown. So this is a bonus Infinity War breakdown with Jimmy once again. I feel it it fits. To, to Part close two the of two. Yeah. yeah, to close the circle. And uh, that one, like I told you a while ago, that was our highest played one well i feel i, I, I feel honored you yes. should be yeah. um you you guys got a few new fans because of all that so and i remember you telling me that yeah. and uh who are these fans oh, because man. i don't know their names and i'd uh, really like to i don't know if i should tell you their names because their ego might be a little too inflated then afterwards they might need, it's up yeah. to you I'll, I'll leave that to you well, because we, they're your we got crew. we got Lori, kyle Josh Olson, Josh Korfman, Sarah, my partner, she yep. listens sometimes. Yeah, so there's a few there. Nice. Well, if I forget anyone, I'm sorry. For for you guys that have uh, kind of hang hung on since that Infinity War one, thank you so much. Because uh, there they got their shout out. Yeah, of course. Well, and that's because when you told me that, I'm like, well, they deserve a shout out. Um, for that reason, for kind of listening and gaining some fans, that's always fun for for me. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, thank you so much, guys, for for listening and kind of supporting the channel um, in that way because that's uh, that's huge. Uh, we're back, and an end game is upon us. It is end game weekend. Yes, it um, is. And yes, like I mentioned, this is a bonus episode. Same weekend as our live. You can still check out the live; it's still there. And we pretty much talked some end game spoilers, but it was very I haven't listened sporadic. to it yet, but oh, I did see okay. the pop up. Yeah. Um, we we did some. We talked a lot of Game of Thrones, like from the last episode, and Fair then um, which was a great episode, by the way. Great episode, yeah. and it was one of those episodes that like you walked around way, and you're like, well, nothing happened, but then Ship. you look and you're like, lots yeah. happened before it hits the fan. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Um, and then now we're at Endgame finally, and it felt like yes. it went by fast, like after and a year. Yeah, it it came. I mean, that last month it was just a countdown that felt like forever. forever. At least for me, yeah. yeah well, yeah. I mean, once you know the week within a week, it was yeah. I was like, holy shit, it's here. Yeah, yeah. And you did um, on your Instagram, which if people oh, yes. want to follow, my own, uh, my uh, own it's, little. Is it okay if I? It's oh yeah, D, go D ahead. Cunos, right? You already gave away my name, so yeah, you may true. as well. <laughs> uh, so D Cunos at Instagram, and not only like follow him for pop culture stuff, but you do a ton. I do some art, yeah, ton of art, and like really cool. Like the last few that you had on here is very like uh, Blade Runner esque. That is exactly what I'm going for. So okay, that cool. makes me feel good. Yeah, perfect. No, it's really cool stuff. Like if you go back and uh, you did a full lead up, like you watched all the uh, the uh, all twenty one movies, all twenty one yep. movies in order. My my partner and I actually, I mean, I told her that I was gonna start watching them and she didn't yeah. need to because we did that for infinity war and sure. she was like well i'm not fucking doing that again <laughs> but then i started and she's like well i guess i am now so yeah so so she yeah stuck with me until the end there and yeah within a month we plowed through all 21 movies and i kind of ranked them within their own like you know a marvel meter i guess yeah. so it's not you know the actual ratings I would give them out in the open, but within their own universe, that's the ratings that I would give them. And then you, what you ended up doing too was doing them an actual order of timeline. So, uh, can I run down your scores? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. So you start with Captain America: The First Avenger, which is in the timeline, the very first one, set in the forties. Uh, yeah, set in the forties, and uh, eight out of ten for that. Yep. Then you went on to Captain Marvel: The Nineties, six out of ten. I, uh, and I I bumped that score higher the yeah. second time I watched it because I didn't time. really like it the first time, mm -hmm. but after my second viewing, I did enjoy it a little more. Okay, and, yeah, well, and Anthony did the same thing. Like yeah. Anthony ended up bumping up his. Uh, then you went to Iron Man, gave it a seven. Hulk four, and yeah. we were pretty like even when we did ours, we were pretty much in that ball. Yeah, part, I I remember you guys breaking yours down, and yeah, a few of them we were pretty similar. I think pretty pretty yeah. close. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Iron Man two gave it a five. Thor, yeah. you gave it a four, the first one. Yeah. Uh, then we got Avengers. So we didn't actually do the actual Avengers, Avengers one. So yeah. you got some extra ones here. So the first Avengers, you gave a 7.5. Iron Man 3, you gave a four. Thor, the Dark World, you gave a 3.5. <laughs> uh, Captain America, the Winter Soldier, a 10. 
which is the my highest was a 9.6 or 7. Yeah. So that's what I gave Winter Soldier as well. Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one, a 7. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, a 5.5. Avengers Age of Ultron, a 5. Ant-Man, a 6.5. Civil War, a 9.5. Doctor Strange, a 6.5. Black Panther, a 6. Spider-Man Homecoming, an 8. Thor Ragnarok, a 9. Ant-Man and the Wasp, a 5.5. And Avengers Infinity War, a 7.5. Point five. Have any of those changed since? Uh, no. I would say that they're pretty solid still. Cool. At least the second run through. I mean, in a few For years, sure. I'm sure when Arthur is old enough, I'll have to do this again. But yeah. until the time comes, yeah. Well, and Arthur needs to get his scores in. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then, yeah. <laughs> I found that a lot of... My scores didn't change much after Endgame. The re- that's why I asked you, because after Endgame, there was a lot of stuff that they showed in there that gave more credence or importance to a lot of the previous movies. Yeah. And I don't know. Like, in my mind, my scores have not changed, but mm-hmm. there are points where I'm like, oh, that makes that movie a little bit cooler or a little bit better because of, of what happened, right? Like yeah. Age of Ultron, for instance, which we'll get to that part. Yeah. There's parts in Age of Ultron that they- There's it, a lot of parts in Age of Ultron that they throw back to. Yeah. Right. And and it kind of, it pays off, but at the same time as a standalone movie, uh, my yeah. score has not changed. Yeah. Which I guess I can look at my scores the same way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what would you rate- Endgame. You've seen it twice already. I've only seen it once. Oh, man. I still don't know. Uh, I didn't like it as much the first time, like fr- uh, Thursday night after we got out. Yeah. I wasn't, I don't know. I was on the fence yeah. at rating it. Yeah. And I was like, I, I know I'm going to see it again this morning, so I'll wait until after. And I did like it the second time around because there's a bunch of stuff that maybe we'll get into here that... I kind of shelved or maybe thought through and made more sense the second time watching. But uh, uh, right now, I don't know. I would, I, w- I think I would put Infinity War still higher than Endgame. So maybe a seven. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, and that's funny. 6.5, seven around there. Yeah. I, I rate Infinity War higher than yes. Endgame yeah. as well. Um, it was a more cohesive movie. Yes. Uh, everything, like it was from start to finish, just this mad rush to get us to the end. But it was still like not mad rushes in the pacing was off. Yeah. Just we're here, we're here. And everything kicks into high gear. Like when you're watching some other movies or shows and you're like, well, what did you guys do in this timeline? There wasn't a moment uh, wasted yeah. in Infinity War because our timeline is razor thin. Like the second that what happens um, with the new Asgard on the ship right down to Earth and then the second Tony meets Doctor Strange, we're in. Yep. And it just goes and goes. And I I thought of this afterwards, but maybe I didn't like Endgame as much because a few of us had watched Infinity War right before we went to Endgame. Yeah. So it was like we just had an hour intermission basically. Sure, yeah. So it just felt like they were obviously two different movies, but... It just didn't, I don't know. I liked Infinity War a lot more than Endgame. Than Endgame. I still would say that I liked Infinity War more than Endgame, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Well, so what I did, I didn't do the rundown. I didn't do the full watch from start to finish. Yeah. I did that for Infinity War, but I didn't do it for this. I watched three trailers. The first two that they released, like mm-hmm. the one back, I think it was in September or something, or maybe even after that. You sent me the... I tagged you in the third, Two of them. Two of them? Yeah. Yeah, okay. You tagged me in the supposedly finale one, and then you yeah. tagged me in the second one that Obviously, I watched. yeah, that was... Um, a... But you know what the funny thing was? That trailer, even that moment where I said, oh, I could have like watched that on in the screen. Yeah. Or on uh, like I'd rather have seen it on the big screen. When I saw the movie, I didn't care at all. Yeah. Like it didn't it didn't affect anything as I thought it would. Yeah. Um, and maybe because of the progression of of Endgame itself. Uh, do you feel that the marketing was good? Because it felt like they ramped up and threw, threw out more trailers. There, there than were needed. way too many TV spots, I felt like. I, I mean, yeah, every time I got a notification on my phone, because I'm subscribed to like a few mm-hmm. things, but it was just like, you know, TV spot number 21 or whatever. And I was yeah. like, hey, seriously, we get it. And I know it ramped up after... Uh, what was their what was Disney's other movie?
seconds yeah, and is, put it out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you feel that the... Okay, first of all... Apparently, they spent oh. the most... This is the most money they spent on the marketing yeah. out of all the MCU movies. Which is so weird because they didn't need to. Yeah. No, they didn't. Like, they that's, they that's were going to sell thing. them out no matter what. Yeah. yeah. And like every report coming out like, oh, it's going to make so much money. I'm like, no shit. Yeah. Like, oh, this is like... Stating the, the obvious. People, this is the most, the highest rated trailer. No shit. Like, this is going to be... <laughs> this is the biggest moment in cinema of our time. Yeah. This is not, we'll never, I don't think we'll ever see anything like this again. Not and for a long time. At least not for a long time. Yeah. Uh, DC tried it, you know, it didn't work out for them. Um, and that's where I felt it wasn't necessary because it was so different and so yeah. special. Do you feel they stuck the landing on this movie? I think they gave us the best possible ending. Yes. yes. Yeah. Kind of, kind of, well, and I mentioned it on yesterday's show or the one that released today where it's like Dr. Strange said there's one in like 14 million or whatever chances. 14 million 605. Yeah. That's the one. So this is that one in 14 million 605 yeah. movies. I love when he just point, get, raises his <laughs> yeah. one finger to Stark and he's like, this better be it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I... They said that the trailers only showed the first five minutes or so, or the oh, first little bit, yeah. which it kind of did. But that second trailer, the scene with Ant Man and the scene with Cap with the shield, that wasn't the first five but minutes. But they, I can't remember now. I'll have to go back and watch the first trailer. But didn't they show Ant Man with the pencil? Because that yes. was at the end. Oh yeah, you're right. Yep. Yeah. That so, was, so they and lied they showed again. The hand. Yeah. yeah, they showed they showed Cap's hand as well when he pulled it, but they yeah. didn't show Cap himself. Yeah. Which. Again, there was no context to it. So no, and and the, the but cool once thing, again he lied to us for sure. Yeah. And and you knew they were going to, <laughs> yeah. uh, and and they had to, yeah, right. But for the most part, these trailers didn't show no. a, as much as I no. thought. And did you feel that this movie was very different than what you expected it to be? Yes. Well, for one, I didn't expect them to do time travel. You so, didn't? Eh? No. I oh, mean, I totally thought. I, I mean, obviously, how are they going to fix everything? Yeah, I guess time travel would obviously come into play, mm -hmm. but I did not think, you know, they would actually go down that route. I don't know. I yeah. thought they would figure something else out. But Yeah, and it, it's so hard. because and it, Not and that's that I'm disappointed with it. Sure, it's sure. Just, yeah. I was like, oh, shit, I guess they are going the whole time travel route. Yeah. Well, and I didn't know how... I, I've. I was 99.9% .9 sure they were going to do time travel, mm -hmm. um, which puts more importance on Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah. Oh, their because, movies like, are much more significant now. Yeah. And fuck, Paul Rudd, I think he was one of the best in this movie. So, okay, we'll, we'll get, we'll get yeah, to that. Yeah, I know, I, I know. Point. Again, we're jumping around. Sorry. No, that's okay. That's how this show is like 95% of the time yeah. because of me. Because last yesterday when we talked about Game of Thrones... I even mentioned, I'm like, both my brother and Anthony, last episode, were like, we kind of jumped around all over the place. I'm like, yeah, but that's how my mind works. Yeah. Like, I just jumped. Oh, it works, whatever. So we ended up going, like, almost not scene by scene, but I had written notes, and we went in order. Yeah. Just to satisfy. You know, some people like it, some people don't. Yeah. Paul Rudd was excellent. Yes. In this. Um, acting across the board was excellent. Yeah, no I, I no felt. complaints. Yeah. Um, do you want to get into it, or do you want to just touch on some other stuff? So I don't know how uh, what else we can because uh, some some pre stuff before we get into and well we talked about marketing yep. we talked about my rankings we touched upon your rankings yep. that people can find yeah yeah you can find it on that well we did yeah well I like the way you structured it I'll probably get Anthony to do like something like yeah. that for us um, and do I don't know if you, I don't know if you noticed the three times that I uh, posted the rankings but I used Iron Man Cap and Thor my holy trinity of the MCU there yes on the side <laughs> I don't know if anyone like. would catch that but yeah. there's a little easter egg there I honestly didn't catch it but I was looking I was like oh he's got uh, he's got Thor on this one and then uh, I didn't go back to take a look totally on purpose how did you do that that was really cool I master of photoshop you are a master yeah. of photoshop I don't know anything about photoshop <laughs> well, if you guys need anything I might have to All right. ask your services I'm kind <laughs> Your running. people contact my yeah, people. I'm kind of running out of ideas for like our ads that go out, like that, <laughs> that showcase it on Instagram. Like yesterday, I spent like 45 minutes. I'm like, I don't like the way the text looks. This is stupid. I'm I don't know. I'm sure. I'm sure you can get Anthony to do some voiceover. You know, it's your boy kind of thing. And yeah, I'm kind of getting tired of his. Are it's you? Your boy. Yeah. I thought I mean, about introducing myself like that, but I didn't know if it was copyright. That would have been hilarious. Yeah. There's nothing it's copyrighted. Your boy. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's Anthony. your boy, JK. <laughs> JK. <laughs> Mini J. Mini yeah. J. I'm trying to think of how we can start this. Uh, oh, did anything get spoiled for you? I think I think uh, yes, you got I something got, spoiled. I got fucking spoiled. Sorry. No, dude, word. it's fine. Okay. I swear all the time on this. Fuck. 
<laughs> Anyways, yeah, I did get spoiled, but only because I didn't think what I was going to click on was actual spoilers. Yep. But yes, it was the four and a half minute released leaked oh, footage shit. or whatever. I didn't watch the whole thing. Yeah. But what I saw, I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, it actually looks pretty damn uh, real. And I kind of jumped to a, I didn't watch it from the beginning, but I jumped to a certain point where it was the entire battle at yeah. the end there with everyone arriving. And I was like, holy fuck, that looks legit. And then I like turned, it was like, you know, it looked like a potato filmed it, right? For but sure. it, But it looked legit, like the voices and everything. And I was like, okay, fuck, I'm off of social media. Well, <laughs> Facebook for... I know, you know, a week and a half. I was yeah. done there. Yeah. Because I tried messaging you on Messenger itself. And then you're like, yeah, I'm not on Facebook. Yeah. Anymore. Contact me here. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I ghosted for the most part, uh, aside from last week when I released the last episode and put out a thing of like, hey, because of spoilers, we're not doing a live yeah. show. We're not doing anything. Smart. That's good. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I stayed away. Yeah. It, it was actually a lot easier than I thought. I even stayed away from YouTube. Well, that's good. For almost two weeks. Aside from that, I didn't really see anything, but I wasn't trying to, you know, again, if I saw something, I wasn't because I got screwed over there, yeah. but that's the only thing that really spoiled me. And then my I mean, sister it's a big one. <laughs> and my sister was all, you know, what did you hear? What did you, she wanted spoilers. And I was like, she, I wanted, them she wanted to hear them. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, why? You're going to see it in like three days. Yeah. And immediately after we were done watching it on Thursday, she's like, so? And I was like, it was good, dot. <laughs> she's like, that's all you have to say? I'm like, yes. <laughs> uh, my my buddy, Ethan, was like, don't tell me any spoilers. I'm like, obviously. He's like, just tell me if you liked, loved, or hated, or whatever. And I said, and at first, my first initial message was, I really liked it. Yeah. Uh, I had a message from my friend, Tanya, and she's like, wow. Um, and then my buddy, Alec, has a friend who lives in Australia, if I remember. And so he saw it. A day before yep. um, and he said it was a, a great ending to everything yeah. um, and that's where I'm at like and yeah. the more I think about it the more I like it and but the one thing that never wavered I was like this was a great end to everything yeah like, I, I couldn't have 11 years 20, 20 second movie it's yeah. a pretty damn good saga for sure yeah uh, and again it'll live on in infamy like oh yeah it, oh, no one would have expected anything like this. Everyone's talking about it. How we can't we can't believe it's gotten to this uh, after so many years because yeah. we're kind of as sadistic humans waiting for the pit, like for everything to fail. Like yeah, we, we, we kind of in a part of us doesn't want to, but then we're like, oh, it's gonna fail. It's never gonna keep going. They can't keep making they great keep, movies. Yeah. yeah, well, especially after Thor: The Dark World, which is one that people didn't care for. I don't. I didn't mind it. Yeah. Um, and then Iron Man three as well, which yeah. is another one I didn't mind because those two I think were my. Kind your least. lowest yeah. yeah and hulk i mean and the hulk. second time yeah. watching it though with uh sarah and i we were like holy shit that's actually a lot better i, I expected hulk to be one of the lowest but dark world was it was I, I, dark world i don't know it's just yeah <laughs> what saved it for me was the relationship of thor and loki loki was uh, by far the best part of that movie and the scene with him in, when he finds out that uh his mother died yes that crushes me yeah every time because it was done so well and that's that's also where Thor became started to become funnier. Yeah. Like he was he was less straight as he was in the first Thor movie. Uh, and he was just a little bit funnier. And it also introduced the ether, which yeah. my brother sent me a post saying that that's essentially when this Infinity War idea started. Was them introducing ether in the dark world. Like they probably had it in their minds. Yeah. But once they started introducing the ether, then they start adding everything. Because I don't think they established the Mind Stone as being a no thing. but uh they had the tesseract but they didn't know to, that it was yeah to argue that i mean they did introduce thanos at the end of the first avengers which For sure. came before yeah. so uh, yeah but i do i i get it like you know you see the ether which is the 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 reality stone the reality stone yeah. so yeah you know shit's getting real now right For sure. so yeah i could see dark world definitely being the you know kick it and die gear uh, just that, that that little extra like yeah. okay well we're already here and we already have this slate. We're going to keep going and going yeah. and going. Because Guardians was after. And yeah. that's when it gave us the Power Stone. Yeah. Right. Uh, all right. Let's get into it. Okay. I I didn't expect everything to kick off so fast in terms of like, we're going to see Thanos. Like, we're going to his little cabin out in the woods uh, or wherever he's at. And they it started right away. Yeah. Like, we Hawkeye's see. Hawkeye's family. We, we, yeah, sorry. We, we start with yeah, Hawkeye's family. I, so many gasps in the theater like immediately yeah 
Like as soon as you saw Hawkeye, I, I couldn't, I can't even count how many people I heard gasp because they, we knew right then and there that yeah. what was going to happen, right? Yeah. Obviously it was going to start with the dusting, but, uh, yeah, no, that was, that was cool. A little mini Hawkeye we saw there. Well, Kate hopefully Bishop. That, yeah. Kate yeah. Bishop. Hopefully that alludes to her future role. Perhaps. I would expect. I, I would I assume so. so. I mean, why? Yeah. Why introduce her or have her in there? Uh, that yeah. was a hard scene. Like I, even for me, knowing what was going to happen, knowing, yeah, and the way that they, the way they shot it, and the way that, first of all, Hawkeye's never been better than he was in this. I liked him. I, I liked him in Age of Ultron, like because yeah. they they did the whole let's poke fun at him to make him cool kind of thing. Uh, but in this one, they didn't need to. And that opening scene with him, just when he was turns around, looks, turns around, looks, and he's running around, and you just see that progression of panic. Yeah. And what the hell and everything like that got me. And he also still had the the bracelet yeah. from the Civil War. Uh, from Civil War. Time. The Accords. Yeah. The Accords stuff. Uh, that was, I thought that was a great way to start the episode. Yes, um, definitely. That also could have been a post credit scene in Infinity War. It could have, but. Eh, it still worked. Yeah, but, it still worked. Yeah. yeah, it was a good way to kick off the movie for sure. What did you think of the music transition? Because I thought that kind of threw me off when the Marvel Studios logo came up. Uh, and they were playing a 70s song, like a, a very yeah. Peter Quill song, because they were back to his shit. The, I, uh, I forget what song it is now. But uh, if you listen to the lyrics. That's why I was okay. Like, yeah. I was okay with it for lyric-wise, but tone is what threw me off. Yeah, on. because Infinity War, they didn't have any sound or any music to go with the whole Marvel uh, bumper there. When the Guardians showed up. Uh, no, da, well, da, it, no da, infin- da, 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 Infinity da, 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 da. War, I'm talking. Oh, yeah, they had that one. When the guard, when, when we saw the Marvel Studios, oh, sorry. they didn't have Nothing. anything there. You're right. Yeah. You're right. My yeah. bad. Yeah, because what they had was the role yeah. coming, and you and just hear as the Asgardian ship calling for help or whatever. That was yes. it. It was yeah. dark. It was. It was ominous. It yeah. was. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That threw me off. It really did. Like I was. Yeah. I was kind of like I, I, I was expecting it to have no music as well. like. Yeah. Be, obviously, because Infinity War didn't have anything, I was just expecting the same. But yeah. I mean, whatever. It worked. Yeah, and then we see Tony. Yeah, and Tony and Nebula having playing football, with playing paper. Uh, paper football. Yeah, and that was cute. Yeah, it humanized her a little bit, or made her feel a little human. I think, and and, and her see, frustration as well. Like she's still carrying that competition thing in her. Yes, because when she wasn't making it, it it still was like it was her doing a human thing. Yeah, but still operating as classic nebula i'll put it that way where she's like getting super frustrated and it's it was really nice seeing tony at least for me kind of teaching her yeah uh, as a father in a weird way like this is support that nebula needs and he was like yep no that's cool that's fine whatever oh look you in like yeah what would you think of uh what would you think would happen if she did lose (laughs) <laughs> she probably would have been mad. <laughs> she would have, She probably would have been pissed off and like taking that away. food, taking that food for herself when he offered it to yeah. her. Yeah. Uh, that another cool scene in there was that throwback to the Iron Man, the first Iron Man, when he's got his goggles and he's mm-hmm. you know hammering down on whatever piece of metal. And yeah. oh, I love that scene because I love the first Iron Man for sure. And yeah. they were changing, uh, they were changing batteries out or figure like they found out how to kind of keep it alive. Yeah. Uh, for a bit. There was a lot of things going on in that whole little montage of them staying alive in space. Yeah, and this was just before he gets to the the message uh, yes. on the thing, which I honestly thought the movie was going to start with that message. Like, I thought what they yeah. showed us in the trailer would have been the opening scene of of Endgame. Yeah. Um. And, but then where do you put Clint and there's, a, there's that whole thing. Yeah, right? I don't know if I would have reversed it. I kind of like the way they did it. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and but again, like I, I, in my mind, this is my expectations from the trailers or what I think the movie's gonna be. Yeah, and I'll I'll bring this up now because I do feel that a lot of people will naturally go in with their own expectations of what this movie's gonna be mm-hmm. and what it's gonna show us and what it's going to lead to and how things are gonna progress. And I felt good the fact that nothing of what I thought really happened, at least for me. But yeah. I'm also a, a self proclaimed idiots with this stuff so i mean like what i nothing of that happened so even just as it opened the way that it started before even avengers endgame like the the title card comes up yeah it was it was nice to see how it, they did it and they yeah it, t- it flowed pretty well there yeah. yeah i i enjoyed it so then uh he gets they get saved by captain marvel 
She makes her appearance. Well, before that, the, the message was really nice to Pepper, but yeah, I also sorry. I also liked how they made him look, which leads into how he comes back to Earth, deteriorating. Oh yeah, skin and bone. He looked horrible. And yeah. how Nebula picked him up after he's he's like I'm. I'm going to sleep and I'm going to die. Like this yeah, is how it's going to happen. This is it. Yeah. Which I don't know how he thought that she would get the message. I don't know if he could relay that back to Earth. Uh, they need the helmet. Well, he did say something along the lines like, "If you or anyone finds this, okay, you know, awesome. then hopefully it gets back to you." Along those, not word for word, but something along those lines. Yeah. Okay. He's just like just throwing this out. Whoever finds it, you know, hopefully, yeah. hopefully it finds her. Yeah. Uh, but I thought it was really nice how Nebula picked him up. Put him on the chair, yeah, uh, or strapped him into the to the captain's seat, um, and the, the what we saw in the trailer, what most of us saw was Nebula's hand. I thought uh, it was something her hand, else, but her hand on time. his shoulder there. Yeah. That was a super nice moment. Yeah, uh, and then we've got Captain Marvel that shows up, shows up, which leads it, which follows up from her uh, from the post credit scene in her movie. Yes, where she flies down, wears Fury. Yeah, and obviously. So do you think? So after she flew down, where's Fury? So her end credit scene. Do you think that happened before she saved Stark Absolutely. and Nebula? Okay. Yeah. I think the only way she knew anything about Stark and Nebula is that they went down. Where's Fury? We don't know. And so they were probably like, yeah, we, you know, Stark is in space somewhere because he's clearly not here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how they would know he was in space. Yeah, um, because they weren't talking. Yeah. In Infinity War. So, yeah, I mean, I guess we can just... Listen, this movie is one of those movies that you can pick apart every little oh, thing. I know, oh, I know. Shit, that's my mic falling. Uh, you can pick apart every little thing. And you know what the worst part was? Like, this week at work, I was kind of bored, so I was watching a lot of CinemaSins. So my <laughs> CinemaSins brain was going the whole time, uh, which yeah. I think took away from a, some of the enjoyment that I could have had. Like, I could have enjoyed it more if yeah. I wasn't nitpicking everything I, and that's my first showing too i was kind of nitpicking a few things too yeah. for sure um but she shows up yeah they had the conversation tony's out there and i mean she's she's super fast she can go through places yeah. like really fast so and and what we saw when she let's say found thanos right with them in the opening was she can kind of survey the area and get a sense of what where, yeah. where everything is right so she found the ship somehow um, they bring it there, back, yeah. brings it back 20, 22 days, which I thought was interesting because yeah. it's is a 22nd movie. Yes. Good call. So there's that. that. Um, and then she brings them back, brings them back. Yeah. And that scene we saw in the trailer where they were walking out when they show pepper and cap and everybody yes. walking and seeing her bring down the ship. Yeah. Um, at first, like my first little inkling, because I have some very strong feelings about captain Marvel, uh, <laughs> is that, Oh, come on. That was my first thing. Yeah. And also, I would have expected them to drag it out a little bit longer before Cap and uh, Iron Man and Stark meet. Yeah. But. But we only have three hours. That's And, and that's what's <laughs> funny. We only have three hours. They got. They got. But it's necessary. But like the last time they talked to each other were, was Civil War, exactly. which is crazy to think in this universe's timeline. Yeah. Yeah, we, we needed to get that out of the way because once we get that, my first tearjerker scene was seeing Iron Man whittled down completely. Like, oh he looks man, that was so sickly. heartbreaking. Yeah, and his speech to Cap and how he rips out his arc reactor, you take hands it, it to him, and, and then you collapse. run. Yeah, oh, I fucking love that scene. That was great acting by uh, RDJ there. That. And I would say that and then one more scene later on is the best acting he's done in the entire series. I loved yes. his PTSD in Iron Man 3. Yep. I loved how they handled it. I loved how he was. I I still, I'm a fan of Iron Man 3. Aside from the twist, I just liked his character and how I got more of a sense of Iron Man or Tony Stark in that movie than I did in the other ones. This one was hard. Yeah. Like, just see, just really seeing hard. him defeated and he was scared. He, Terrifying. He, yeah, yeah, he was just basically on the brink of death. And he's like, all I wanted was a, 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 a suit of armor around the world. Yeah. Oh, I love how he threw that back in Cap's face because I don't know about you, but in Civil War, I think I was pretty much team Cap, uh, team uh, Iron Man. See, I was team Cap. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. He witnessed in Winter Soldier what, uh, what the Accords are capable of. So the Winter Soldier was controlled by the government to do their bidding. And so what Cap's fight was after witnessing... The physical embodiment of the Accords to me in Winter Soldier mm -hmm. was Bucky. 
So he knows what the capability of a government does. Doesn't have to be an evil government, just any government. Just any government. Yeah. And where I le- where I was on team cap for that is is for that reason is that he knows how this works. He he's seen it from the inside. But to Tony's point, he was a man that developed uh, uh, weapons. He then turned himself into a weapon, so the world wouldn't need weapons. Yeah, I, I officially privatized world. Yeah, peace, yeah. peace out, peace right, out. Right. Yep. <laughs> and the and Ultron did what Ultron like what he did with Ultron, trying to do that. And the Accords were a way to keep himself in check, and the Avengers because he screwed up so much. Um, at least that's how I think he yeah. felt. He felt that this is necessary. He even said it. We got to be put in check. Um, we we went in there kicking ass and we dropped the building on this kid. Right, the, yeah, the, one, yeah. the one little boy that went out there. So that's why I was Team Cap, but I understood that was. was uh, I mean, I that was great about that movie. I, yeah, I know it's. It was hard to pick a side because yeah. they were both right, they were both wrong. Yeah. I get it, but I mean, I don't know. I just like Iron Man for sure. And <laughs> and honestly, when you think about it, the way that they that the government used Winter Soldier, aside from the fact that it killed Tony's parents, yeah, they used it effectively. Like what, the, but they use it for their what they wanted. Yeah, and that's what Cap was worried about. Yeah, he didn't want a whole another regime kind of yeah. government. Yeah. yeah. Um and and that but that was so beautiful. That was so crazy about that scene is because of all of that and you're like, "Oh right, oh right." And now you being team Stark does make sense because Cap was the one that was trying to stop him from creating Ultron. Yeah. Um which he didn't know obviously that's what would have happened. Well, no, I mean he didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh and if it would have worked, then there would, have been, there, there would have been a suit around the world, yeah. yeah. And then now he's he's looking at all of the stuff that it's kind of like, yeah, you were right on a lot of this, yeah. And that's why he was so mad at him. But he also needed him. He also, but he also didn't call him. I think if he would have called him in Infinity War, Cap I, he, gone. hey, he did have the phone open, but and, then, and we don't know if he was going to dial. Or not. Was he going to dial? Yeah, yeah that's Who a good knows, point. Right. Yeah. Uh, the other line that got me was when Stark says, "I lost the kid." Yeah. Man, just because of the whole, you know, Spider Man and Iron Man arc, yeah, 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 that that one sucked when he said that. Yeah. That man, I was almost, I was pretty much in tears in that first like 10, 15 minutes before before hard. the Avengers Endgame credits rolled. It yeah. was like, what the hell? Yeah, it yeah. was dark. It was it hit. Yeah, of course. And and again, based on that, and then you go around the room, so you see. Uh, you see Rocket, you see Nebula, you see Captain Marvel there. You see oh, Captain Rocket America. holding Nebula's hand too. That was great. That was really <sighs> great. And and that's where Guardians Two, which wasn't, I think it was one of my lower rated ones, even though I did yeah. enjoy it. Uh, it's it's moments like that in this movie that makes Guardians of the Galaxy Two again, yeah, that much greater, definitely. Uh, and and what it what it builds up, and then we see Thor. He's got his Eminem look going on. He's about to drop some. <laughs> he's about to drop some rap, and he yeah. is not well. Well, he arrogant, cocky. Should well, have gone it, for the head. He knew he yeah. should have gone for the head. But the thing is, strategically looking at it, uh, Anthony mentioned it yesterday because he found it on a video. When you look at someone's head, you have so many open spaces to miss. Let's just say we live in a world where Thor can miss. Right? He's not Hawkeye. Whereas the chest. You'll, you'll hit it no matter what. Yeah. That plus his arrogance to look him in the face because he said you're going to die for that in the ship. Right? Yeah, he wanted he wanted he Thanos wanted to, to suffer. Him. He wanted him to suffer. And that's the flaw of Thor. Definitely. And, and that's where Thor, again- That's you, why he's, he's such he's a great still, character. Yeah, yeah, and he's still arrogant. Like uh, Your point is 100% correct. Uh, and I just, I mean, he would just expect it. The chess is right there. It's going to happen, right? Yeah. Uh, and he, but he's defeated in this, which I thought was- yeah, was great. Like he's I, just like, I, I always, and he blames himself. I always bug my one friend that it was always Star Lord's fault. You do, hey? Yeah, because he loves Star Lord so much. He, he'll <laughs> know who I, they'll know who I'm talking about. But yeah, I always like, oh yeah, it's always Star Lord's fault. But no, it's de- it's collectively a bunch of their faults that. But where whereas it's Star Lord's fault, it, it's also Thor's. Oh, fault. it definitely is. That de- yeah. And what's beautiful about those two moments in Infinity War is that it's to character. Yeah. Star Lord having been pretty much forced to shoot somebody that he loves after finally finding a family from Guardians 1 and then having it taken away from him when he actually pulls the trigger. Yeah. Like that's an emotional thing that I don't think many people can deal with. So at that no. point, when you find out what he did, de- what he does, 
shit, I'd probably react that way. It was oh, a very de- human, definitely. very two-character moment. And Thor doing his thing was very to character. Yeah. Um. So they all meet. They're all there. They're all whatever. And then Thor gets his Stormbreaker. I like this one. Gives the I like this one thing. Yeah. And then Cap swears again. Language. Let's, let's get the son this, of a bitch. Let's go get the son of a bitch. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. And I love how game. I love how the um the theme has evolved through each of them. Oh man, I've been listening to the soundtrack nonstop. Yeah. It's oh, yeah. so good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Uh wait, sorry, the end game one or end game. Yeah. I've got a bunch of them. Like when I play get video games now, I, yeah. I on Spotify I've got my Marvel Cinematic Universe playlist. Nice. And uh, I was playing Titanfall 2 recently. Oh, yeah? A friend of mine was like, Yeah, just play it. I was like, all right, I'll play through the story, whatever. And I had it going the whole time. It was awesome. Uh beautiful. But those themes have evolved so they much. They have evolved. And I'm so happy that they stuck with Alan Silvestri because for a time there, the themes were very inconsistent. Yeah. Um, they brought Brian Tyler to do the Thor the the Thor theme, which yeah. I love Thor the Dark World soundtrack. I, and I love Brian Tyler's stuff too. Yeah. Iron Man 3 soundtrack, so good. Yeah. yeah. And and the Iron Man 3, and which is way better than even the first Iron Man and the second Definitely. Iron Man. Like that. I, there's more memorable wonderful. themes, I think, in Iron Man 3 than the other two for sure. Definitely, yeah. yeah. And, and, and it felt, and I'm glad because it looked like they were steering away from being consistent yeah. with it but then they kind of brought it back yeah. with Sylvester because the Age of Ultron theme song I enjoy it's not bad but only the da, 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 the like, where it leads builds up to the Avengers theme yeah. yes or hints, of hints it, at yeah. it yeah but it doesn't actually give it to us yeah. whereas when Infinity War came in I'm like yes thank you yeah. like, this is the, <laughs> I want this <laughs> this is what I want this is what I want yeah. and because where it says Avengers Assemble, or it's just called Assemble in the first soundtrack of Avengers. In Infinity War, it's called Forge. Yeah. And the buildup to both of them are very similar, where it goes dun dun. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. It's got that nice buildup. Yeah, it's so good. And in the first one before Hulk punches it, it's more, it's obviously, you know, it's newer, it's it's not as built upon. So when they do the same thing with Forge in Infinity War, mm-hmm. it's got so much extra to it yeah. and it just builds and then just boom. It was yeah, it was great. The the epic one in Endgame, Portals is uh is that, that the that, one? That's the one where Cap is basically facing Thanos alone in his army and then shit yeah. goes down. Yeah, yeah. That's a great one. Um I don't know if it's as good as Forge. But I it, have but to listen it, to both of yeah, them. Yeah, but it's so good. Yeah. Well, Forge has a special place it, in my heart because uh, I use it as by my- by far the best entrance. Yeah, and I use it as yeah. my wedding entrance. So nice. I was super <laughs> I was super happy about that. Soph actually signed off on it. So the second it happened, doors well, open. Well, as long we as she in. signed off on it, then- she, I was so surprised. So <laughs> Nick and Christine walked in with the Transformers theme song because that, as uh, although I don't care for well, the Well, Nick movies, grew up with the Transformers. Loves I know he loves that yeah. stuff, yeah. Uh, and then she signed off on that. So I was like, oh, yes, I get my- Thor into Wakanda <laughs> moment. <laughs> um, let's get this son of a bitch. They're on the ship. Again, another scene that we saw in the trailers. Yeah. Um, Who here hasn't been in space? That was great. Yeah. And I also like how Rocket threw shade to Captain Marvel a little bit. Like, excuse me, who are you? Like, he said some comment to her at one point, And I think it was early on. Uh, because he didn't know who she was. Like she came in here trying to take over. Yeah. And Rocket made a comment to her and my brother had said it and I forgot what it was. Uh, but it felt more remember. like. I know everyone was all, uh, I know Rhodey said something along, you know, we're all about the superhero business. You know, that was a great line too. We've all yeah. lost things. Maybe yeah. we should do this together kind of thing. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And again, going back to my, if you want to go back to the Vulture episode where I ranted about 35, 40 minutes. Let's not make this episode. We won't. That. We won't. I try wrong. <laughs> but I don't know if that confirms my rumors or not. Or the stuff that uh, I found. I, I remember, I think we discussed even in we Messenger, yeah, yeah, about the theories and everything. And I actually haven't thought about that yet. Yeah. Uh, she, Captain Marvel was so minor in this that, I mean, if the if if the rumors are true, and there's yeah. you know two or three different cuts of this movie, obviously they went with the one that with the yeah. one that had her less involved. Yeah. If if those rumors are correct. Yep. But I will say true. this. I'm going to say this right off the bat. I enjoyed Captain Marvel in this movie. She was pretty badass. I'm I, not gonna I, lie. I thought all of her scenes were badass. I thought all of them were great. Uh, we'll get to it obviously later. I <laughs> Who thought the are way you? That, yeah. No, but yeah. the <laughs> thing is, is that. The way they used her in this versus what my issue with the Captain Marvel movie, which we won't make it about that, is what they they did to the Marvel Universe to force importance on her in her movie. Yeah, 
right? Okay, that's fair enough, yeah. But in this one, they just use her as a character with these abilities, and she's part of the team now. And they, yeah, I feel like they definitely grounded her a little. Yeah, she's all powerful and everything. She's going to go get, you know, Thanos. But everyone's like, whoa, 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 let's let's work as a team here. Yep. We so all lost I, something I, yeah, together, I, and we're all I like do it that, together. Right? Yeah. It's not, you know, she. Yeah. So, so we go to uh, where he is. I loved how they showed Cap's eyes when he saw the portal opening. Yes, they did that side shot, and they just so like he's never been to space. You just see the whatever event horizon, the star yeah. field, kind of just rushing through beautiful. his eyes. Yeah, it was it was a nice shot. That was sure. a beautiful yeah. shot, and just like. It was so good, and you're like, "Oh shit, he's never gone to this point before." In, no, like in the world, like, and you're just like, "Holy shit!" Yeah, like the only the only thing moment. he's been close to any sort of intergalactic whatever was when Red Skull got sucked up into the space Star. into the yep. portal there. Yeah, yeah, very good, very good point. Yeah, um, Captain Marvel shows up, and she's like, "It's just him." Yeah, she, there's she, no shield, she there's no defense, the stone, there's nothing. Yeah, I like that she was kind of outside the ship too. Like she's just kind of like tag long. She doesn't outside. need it. She doesn't need the ship. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh she, yeah. Well, she, and that's she part just of travels powers. through. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. know. And and that's how I think it obviously makes it makes some more sense where she saves Tony. Yes, because she could yeah. just go like I I don't need anything. I'm me like I'm Iron Man in space where I can fly everywhere. Yeah, kind of thing, right? Um, I fucking loved seeing Thanos all retired and just living a peaceful life. Yeah, you know he set out what he wanted to do yeah he corrected the universe he's got that in, little limp. in his eyes he's got the limp yeah he's injured he's just this old man far- well not old man but he's just this farmer yeah just living his life you know he's not like any other villain where he's going out and you know continuing to cause havoc or whatever right he's had one goal and that was it and this is this is a point i'm gonna make later on but the thanos that we encounter in endgame and the Thanos we encounter in the beginning are two different ones. And not like two different people. I'm saying my, my brother made a point yesterday where he was like, uh, they felt like they were different. I said, well, of course they were different. This is the one that does want to settle down. This is the one that had different motivations. Uh, the one that they encounter in the opening. This is the one that did want the retirement. And remember, the past Thanos, he didn't... He didn't get any stones yet. Nothing. He still had that one main goal that he was going to get no matter what. Mm -hmm. So seeing future events unfold through Nebula's, you know, machinery or whatever, that changes his character arc dramatically. Well, and he, like, angry, right? Like, that was the warrior. That was the conqueror. He was like, I'm going to put an end to this. They are definitely two different Thanos, Thanoses, whatever. Thani, wait, Thani, <laughs> yeah. They are two different villains. Yeah, there are yeah. two different characters for sure. And uh, Infinity War is more strategic and more methodical. methodical yeah. whereas, he doesn't need a giant sword, like a giant double-edged yeah, sword. He, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And whereas Endgames is more violent, more just ruthless. He's on the path. Like yeah. he is, and I don't I think that Thanos in this movie is the one that doesn't feel like I'm gonna snap the earth and then retire that seems like no, i'm gonna he, snap the earth he, and just keep going he even says i believe at the end before the armies you know yep. meet or whatever he's just gonna turn earth into an atom that's all he wanted yeah, yeah because he's he can see what they can do he that, just wants earth to be gone yep. he doesn't care about splitting it evenly or whatever that thanos wouldn't have given tony stark the i respect you half of earth will still be alive no. when you're gone no that's what I thought was so brilliant about this villain and the way that Josh Brolin played him. Like, and the way that they set up the two different ones. Yeah. Um, it reminds and, me. And remember, Infinity War was more of a Thanos movie. Absolutely. It was more his movie, whereas Endgame yeah. was obviously the, the OGs and everyone else's, yep. right? So. Yep. Um, we have a conversation. He says, I'm inevitable. They're all trying to figure out what's going to happen or whatever. Yeah, what do you do with the stones? Actually respects his daughter one last time. That yeah. was really nice. <laughs> That was, I, I was looking at, cause, and it was nice for Nebula. Yeah. Because she that still closure. needs it. Yes. Uh, I was listening to a podcast about Braveheart. And in one of the scenes in Braveheart, they were talking about how the one father looks to his son. He's like, I'm, I'm happy I lived long enough to see my son and be proud of the man he grew up or something along mm-hmm. those lines, right? Nebula kind of finally got that in this, yeah. which is 
obviously something she's been searching for forever, right? Uh, and, and I thought that was really good. But then Thor comes in after his speech, just takes the head off right away. I went for the head. I went for the head. And the scene we saw in the trailer, because I think a lot of people speculated that was his hut. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a ship because, again, I'm an idiot sometimes with it. Yeah, I, again, I don't remember. I don't remember the trailers as much at this point. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I be- I thought it was his hut too. Yeah, but that was great. Yeah, they do that. But then, well, not great because what now? Like, yeah, it, we have nothing now. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. Okay, well, we still have like another three hours to go. So yeah. two hours and fifty minutes or whatever it was, and holy shit, he's dead already. Yeah, well, and that's what threw me off. And that's where it's like, damn, like. Where do we go from here? And and this is where I realize I'm like, I have no idea what this movie is going to be about. I don't know where I'm going to be at. I don't know what I'm going to be thinking. I know there's time travel at one point, but literally Endgame is supposed to be, let's go after Thanos. They did that yeah. right away. And the stones are gone. And they're all gone. Vaporized to gone. atoms. Yeah. And, and it was just like, oh, shit. Like, the CG on Thanos was much better in this one than last. I mean, it was the, amazing in the game. last one. Yeah. I even oh, remember definitely. Us, I remember us commenting on his tear yeah. in the Gamora scene where the I actually rolled off a crease yeah. and stuff. But yes, 100%. I, I feel, well, because obviously they had more time to polish this one off too. But yep. yeah, no, uh, just a side comment there. Yeah, he looked great. So yeah, jump five years And that was a slow. Ahead. That was a slow five-year thing too. It's like <laughs> five years it was like 30 second black screen white i was like okay i turned to, I turned to nick and i was like well, they're probably gonna save 30 seconds here yeah <laughs> off of the runtime <laughs> um and now we're we're tr- we're living with this world right mm-hmm. um did it start again a lot of this I, I i remember it as like one big jumbled mess uh they're they're doing their aa meeting it's not Run an aa the, oh, meeting yes, but a uh, meeting yeah the where have they gone meeting or the yep. vanished meeting? VA, yes. I guess. Yeah. Whatever the VA you wanna, meeting, yeah. yeah. Um, and Joe Russo yeah. makes Russo his other make cameo. Yeah, Russo another cameo. Uh, and I, from what I understand, something about him being like the first openly gay character in the Marvel Universe because he's talking about going on a date with, with, with a man. With him, yeah. Uh, I loved that speech. Yeah. I loved the way that it was delivered. I loved the way that it was just how real it was. Yeah. Because, I, I mean, all the other cameos Joe Russo had, it was minimal like yeah. you just kind of uh, see what him. was the last one it was the one where he's running down nick fury who when did nick fury get shot again that was winter soldier winter soldier he was in the he was the doctor in the he was scene. in the doctor yeah he civil was the doctor, war he yeah. was in the tub yeah um and i forget what he was in infinity war uh he was somewhere in infinity war maybe at the end there i don't remember exactly i can't recall yeah um but this was a a a really great cameo yeah. and pretty powerful B, scene a, really powerful yeah um and this is because it shows you like five years later and yeah. it's hard to continue on right yeah well and you see that already with people that lose somebody not through a snap or a vanish but through something like through uh you know a car crash or, or cancer or something yeah. like that right and people go to these meetings and it takes a very long time if ever to ever get over it in this case literally people vanishing yeah that's like that's right in, the, like for most people right in front of you or yeah how do you how do you deal with that that's why the hawkeye scene was so crazy because like they're just gone there's no yeah. reason for, like you can't find a reason for it or you can't understand the reason for it whereas like mentally yeah how what yeah happened? how do you yeah that's yeah. that would be nuts yeah and it really shows that um this kind of reiterates the captain america will find at the end of the movie that's there to help people yeah. He's kind of picking up um, Falcon's work because Falcon was doing those meetings for ex-veterans yep. in Winter Soldier, and he's doing that for people. Yeah, he's basically kind of following the same steps as uh, Sam. You yeah, know? And, and literally just there to help people with his mind or his support versus his fists. Yeah. You know, and that's a great character moment for later. I was thinking today while watching it the second time, do you think that wars still exist like on a gra- on a grander scale than like... I know there's still like gangs and Mm -hmm. because obviously Ronin or whatever, but do you think wars are still happening on a grand scale? Like, you know, war in Iraq or. I would hope not. I would imagine not. I think think just people collectively were like, oh shit, you know, we just lost half the people. Why are we fighting kind of thing? I, the, the, um, the optimistic side of me, which is a very small part of me, uh, (laughs) says that sure. 
The other side of me is that no matter what happens in society, whether there's two people, five people, 20 people or whatever, there will always be, yeah. uh, in the case of uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey, one of the monkeys picking up a bone to hit somebody. Yeah. And establish I, a dominance. I feel like there would still be war. Yeah. They would just, the people that still exist would just see it as an opportunity. Yep. The, for and they more always control, do. right? Yep. Yeah. It's yep. just human nature. Exactly. Unfortunately. And, and that's actually a soup. There's almost a spinoff here where it's just called The Vanished and how the world operates. Disney Plus, just, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. The Vanished. Um, Hit me up, Disney. I like how uh, Romanoff is now the Nick Fury. Like, she's got all of them in the panels. Everybody's kind of looking, doing their thing, like doing their own recon. Yeah. Rocket and Nebula are out looking around the Yeah, places. they're kind of all over the place. The yep. one thing I caught was when... Uh, there's the earthquake underwater. Yes. And Akoi was like, no, it's just an earthquake. It's an earthquake yeah. underwater. Now, I don't know if that's a hint towards Namer, the submariner. Oh, you think so, hey? Maybe. Hmm. I don't know. Because this wow. is the second time they pinpointed something in the in the ocean. I think the first one was uh, when Fury first introduces Stark to... The Avengers uh, initiative. initiative and like the back there, there and there yeah and there's like that screen oh, with wow. like a map and it has like a bunch of pinpoints everywhere and I think there's one on the Paci- was it the Pacific Ocean she mentions anyways maybe one of those places so that's the second time now so obviously there's something there I don't know why yeah. they would hint at it a second time I, I feel no like idea. it's a sub- submariner submariner that Sub- would make more sense if they yeah, want to keep going they, they drop things like they yeah. like even when you look at again an age of ultron or throw the dark world there's so many hints they need to, more characters to in the everything. future yeah, yeah so well and that's what was interesting about this one because they didn't introduce adam warlock they teased him at the end of guardians 2 yeah it would have been unnecessary to bring adam warlock in this yeah so that's another character that they're going to want to bring in yeah uh namer would be another one and they can just keep they can start yep. funneling in people. They they pieces. have a whole pocket full of these characters. Yeah. I don't think they're going anywhere. I don't think so either. Yeah. Um, and the Fantastic Four, which I doubt they're ever going to use, but they can at least use Fantastic the Silver Four and X Men. Yeah. Yeah. Th- I heard. I did see that they won't use them for several years now, which I'm glad for. I'm me slow. Too. Slowly ease them in. I yep. give them a break. I know Dark Phoenix is slated to come out pretty soon, and yep. that movie just looks bad, but. Whatever it is, what it is. Yeah. I know it's the last one. So, yeah. um, Captain Marvel does a thing where I there's a thousand planets that I'm taking care of, so you won't see me for a while. Um, that to me was kind of like, thank God. <laughs> again, I'm gonna bring it up. I, and again, is this? And another, she's got her this, classic. Uh, she's got her classic hairstyle. Yes, which I liked. Yeah, I think she looked pretty badass. Uh, a little bit more like it was I think in the comic it's that front piece is less down and more up yeah and my, I turned to my brother I'm like oh look it's Captain Karen <laughs> have you seen those Karen memes yes <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to speak to your manager. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She lo- someone sent my brother a meme or Anthony a meme saying like Captain Marvel looks like she's going to ask for every manager of every galaxy at this point. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. To me, I think it looked. I I think it the suited, look of it I, was great. I think it suited her more than the long hair. You did, hey? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I had a. I really liked the long hair, and when it went to the. Didn't it oh go to yeah, like a, yeah. A at the or something at, at the, the end? end, yeah. I I I loved that look. Yeah, that was my. But favorite that's when she one. goes like super cyan and all yeah, that yeah. stuff, right? Um, and then we've got Rhodey, and he's got her update of Ronan. Yes. And Car- killing cartels killing and cartels. whatnot, yeah. Which really isn't the worst thing in the world. I mean, no, he, good for him. He's doing what Thanos, Thanos's snap should have done, I guess. Is Take I think bad people. is I yeah is I think what his mentality was. He snapped away the wrong people. But oh yeah, Thanos's snap again. It's random, right? It is random, yeah. yeah. Well, and that's why let's say all of Clint's family's gone and Clint's not. And like, it's not like it's random, like, oh, we're four people here. Two of us are gone. All of us could be gone. And yeah. we're part of that half. Right. Yeah. Um, and so then we go. Oh, sorry. Before that, I think that um, Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson's acting in this was outstanding. Yeah. Because her she, scene she in was this. was awesome in this. Yeah. Her scene in this was pretty heartbreaking. It wasn't obviously Which, Robert Downey Jr. heartbreaking. Yeah. But her, I think she was like tearing up and thinking about it and everything like that. And. I was just like, holy shit. Like, I had another holy shit moment in terms of when I, you look at an the, actor. Her, like, the way they handled her character, I think, is one of the things I was not a fan of. I didn't like Vormir either. 
I well, yeah, we'll get to that too. I that is one thing that I did not like about this movie. No, way. basically sidelining her character. She was just pushed away. You felt that? Yeah, yeah. Um, I I, I wish she was used a bit more yeah. for sure. Um, and I mean, we'll get to it a little bit further. Uh, there, were, I think in the beginning she was much more prominent. Yeah, and I wish I would have seen her kind more. Of set in her the up end. as leader of whatever's left at the Avengers yeah. Tower. Yeah. Yeah, um, th- at least that part. Because she went from being an assassin to being brought in by Clint. Yeah. That's why that relationship is so strong. Uh, to still being kind of a rebel and now really stepping up and taking over for the greater yeah. good. She's officially, uh, I believe, she's officially been able to wipe that ledger clean, so to speak, from the first Avengers. Yeah. And and she's kind of paying that off, that debt off by doing this stuff and, and being kind of the lead. And being yeah, in there. I... I just wish we would have seen her a little more and she didn't get a funeral and like, yeah, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I feel like kind of did her dirty a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, whatever. Yeah. It is what it is. It's a good point though. Yeah. Um, I, I, again, uh, I have some issues with the Vormir part, even though as a single singular scene, I thought it was very powerful. Uh, there, there was, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, where are we next? San Francisco. San Fran. The rat saves the universe. Which makes me believe that the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are around. That's Splinter <laughs> right there. <laughs> come, come on. Think about it. That rat is the reason why Thanos gets defeated. It's true. A rat defeated Thanos. Thank you. Now, now, now think about this. How many times did Doctor Strange watch different ways that rat walked across <laughs> that stupid panel to turn that machine on to also furthermore cause everything else yeah to kickstart 14 million 604 times i would have expected that van <laughs> would have been still on the roof i was kind of surprised yeah who put it they, there like did like, louise survive the snap did he know. put it away in storage who would have found it up there how would they know who uh, it i mean it? again we're nitpicking yeah you know. um, whatever but then we get scott lang that comes out yeah five, uh, five years later five which years is later. five hours only for him which is a really good plan that that is a really good plan for the rest of it to make everything make sense yeah because essentially with the time travel stuff they've established their own way of looking at it yes they, they have, they've established their own science i I will say this. I thought about the time travel thing way too hard and way too in depth the first time I watched it. I did too. Knowing what I knew at, before watching it the second time this morning, I just kind of turned my brain off and I was like, hey, there's a timeline. They return the stones, whatever. It is what it is, right? Sure. And I just enjoyed the movie the second time around a lot more instead of trying to think Mm-hmm. Of everything, I get, I get it. It's like a Russo's timeline yep. or Russo's time travel mechanism. Yeah, that, that's the way that they've interpreted time travel to me. It's it their work. way of doing it. Yeah, so be it. It's a comic book movie. I have seen. There was one person that was reviewing Endgame, and he was talking about how, like, he likes he he reads about time travel and stuff like yeah. that. Like, he's a huge fan, and he actually said. This is just what his opinion was or what he's been piecing together, that that is actually a more accurate representation, that the timelines do branch off and not just like the the the, the timeline that exists now and what they branch off to that new era timeline, that first timeline still exists. Yeah. So I guess there's a, a lot more to support it, but that's just one person who's read his handful yeah. of stuff. So who knows? Um, this part was crazy. I loved how they did this at this Scott Lang part. Yeah. And like, again, he was awesome in this movie. I think great. Paul Rudd was definitely my favorite part. He was. Hey? Yeah. yeah. He was one, well, at least one of my favorite parts for sure. Yeah. And I, it just makes me more excited for more Ant-Man movies, mm-hmm. which I never thought I would say. <laughs> Especially right? after Ant-Man and the Wasp. It was messy. That was it, a messy movie. It wasn't as good as the first one, yeah. but it was still fun. Yep. I, 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 en- I enjoyed it. Yep. The second or the, when we watched it recently, I was like, eh, it's pretty good. And you yep. know, and Louise and all that stuff. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Movie. I thought the Louise thing was a little bit too much in the second one. I felt that they doubled <laughs> down on Louise a little bit more, but it was still an enjoyable movie. Um, I, and, and the way that they shot, this was great. Cause his progression of trying to find, figure out what is going on yeah. was just as powerful or even more powerful because of him it was just five hours that's it what happened in five hours what the hell yeah Yeah. and I also liked because they had uh, who's that Asian actor that's in um, oh in Community Community yeah he was one of the two Community uh, 
cameos. cameos. Yeah. I like that they didn't have him say anything. They just yeah. had him there. I was really worried that he was going to op- like do his shtick. Chang. The, yes. Well, from uh, Hangover. From the Hangover. Yeah. I thought I was worried he was going to do something, but he didn't. He just, yeah. he was funny because he looks, he sees that he's got the sign up. And then after, like, when he's, like, there. walking away with his wagon, he's just, like, looking at him like, yeah. how the hell did you get in there? Yeah. yeah. I thought that was so great. Um, And when he finally comes across, he comes across the kid. Uh, the kid, you know, he asked him what happened. The kid doesn't say anything. Doesn't say anything, yeah. And then he finally sees that memorial, which I thought was really cool. The Vanished or whatever. Yeah, that yeah. was great. And I love that they called it just literally The Vanished. I yeah. thought I was like, that's great. What else would you call them? The Dusted? The Dusted. But I'm sure that dust kind of Van- went away. Vanished seems more appropriate, I think. 100%. More mature, I guess. Yeah, one, yeah I agree. Instead of The Dusted, yeah. yeah. Um, and he's looking for Cassie. His and daughter, looking, yeah. And then he finds himself. And then he finds himself. That scene where he finds Cassie broke me a little yeah. bit. The, uh, the way that he acted, that scene was exceptional. I really wanted him to call her Jelly Bean. Oh. Missed yeah. opportunity. Jelly Bean. <laughs> but I mean, when you see her that big. Or, yeah. But yeah, Jelly Bean would have been really beautiful. Yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. I think he calls her Peanut. 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 Jelly Bean is what... Hope's mom calls her. Oh, it's yes. Jelly Bean and Peanut. That's right. Good call. Yeah. Sorry. Peanut. Both are from Ant Man. Yes. So whatever. Um, the progression on his face. Yeah. Of when he sees her, it's like he's like, "Is this my daughter?" Because she's so much older now. Yeah. And obviously, she knew that it. You know. Yeah. He's a, her dad. So. But oh, yeah. yeah, no, that was great acting too. Yeah. That was, and it was so well shot. It was so yeah. well done. Paul Rudd, the way that he did it, was great. The the girl was really great too. Yeah. Just like, and. That's kind of the weird thing is that you have to put yourself in that mindset that you've been gone for five hours and the world's been gone for five years. Yeah. And it's really tough to do. And just that that emotional weight. Like, obviously, if, uh, let's say, you being a father, if that happened to you and you see your son five years later after being like, what the hell going on? Like, like after a few hours? That's a yeah, powerful but it's a five, moment yeah. for you. Just it just from a father perspective. Yeah. Right. Uh, versus, you know, someone like me who doesn't have kids, but you still feel the weight. Yeah. But that'd it, probably it, break it me. Yeah. Yeah. No, that would probably That's, break me. It's yeah. crazy. Right. It's like, five years that I lost with yeah. him. Yeah. Uh, we move from there to uh, Ronan killing because now oh, yes. Nat said, yeah, we need a team or whatever. How did he know that she was behind him? <laughs> These are the nitpicking moments where he like he that scene was awesome, by the way, like just as yeah, if, as it was like a one shot following him through the buildings. I wish they would have had more of him. I, I loved how they shot it where it was very mysterious and we yeah. see him in the hood and stuff up until the end. But I kind of wish they had like a John Wick scene where it was almost. Like, yeah, I mean, like he, a one shot he, he scene totally could have pulled that or off. Like I an think. old boy scene where yeah. he's like he's in a hallway just beating some guys <laughs> through a window. That would have been cool. Yeah, that was a pretty good fight scene yeah. with him and some rando. Yeah, but I liked that they didn't cut, they didn't edit the, his fight with the main guy who was also from the Wolverine, by the way. Nice. And I don't remember if he died in the Wolverine or if this actually- Is he now, the one that he saved? Maybe. I can't remember either. It's been so long since I watched Wolverine. Me too. Uh, but he was either, uh, he was the the husband of Marigo, I believe. In the okay. Uh, and I don't remember if he dies. Uh, but they didn't actually edit that scene too much. They let it like no, they, it was a one shot. It was great, I think. Yeah, for that the was most a, part, that was yeah. really great. And it was I'm a happy. nice pan around as he's basically killing him or yeah. fighting Stab- him, yeah. fighting him, and then stabbing him in the face. Yeah, that was crazy. Uh, and then we have the reunion of uh, Black Lang Widow arrives and, at the. Well, we have the reunion of Black Widow and and uh, Hawkeye finally. And Clint. Yes. And they hold yes. hands and it's in the rain and everything like that. Yeah. Uh, which was really nice. She gives him hope. Yeah. He tells her not to tease her with that. And yeah, because mm-hmm. it's been five years since you've seen. And he's know. been on the run doing this thing for five years. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty. It was, it was nice. It was, it was nice. And it was great to see them together again. They've had great chemistry. Yeah. Like that's the, I didn't need uh black widow and the Hulk having any relationships in age of Ultron. Yeah. Um, this is the one that I yeah. like. I didn't want them to have a relationship, but no, their no, no, no. friendship Not, is what's yeah. more important to me as yeah. as a viewer of this. Yeah, a uh, friendly relationship. Friendly relationship. Yeah, yeah. Um, you said uh, Scott Lang shows up. Yeah, yeah, at the Avengers facility. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad they didn't throw the scrolls thing in there because I think it would have been too messy. I know some people were saying, well, what if he's a scroll and everything like that? And really? Like, I did not hear that. Yeah, there's a few people saying, like, what if they. There's already they too much it. going on in this. That's they why. They don't need to throw the scrolls in yeah, this. Yeah, that's why. 
Um, and he's freaking out. Yeah, he, he, needs, so. he needs a peanut butter sandwich because he's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because she made one. And Cap had come in, and she's all upset. Like, she's still upset. Yeah, kind of, she's still pretty emotional. Figure yeah, out, figure everything out. Um, and then Scott comes up, and he drops the idea. Yep. This you're is our ta- plan. I'm ta- Yeah, you're talking about time travel. No, yeah. no. Well, yeah, I guess I am talking about time travel. <laughs> <laughs> Such so great cool. acting. He and his delivery awesome. was great. Like yeah. the way that he delivered everything was just like it was it was awesome. It was funny. It was and it was Scott Lang. Like yeah. you didn't feel like he was somebody else. Like he became funnier in his panics. Like him panicking kind of thing in a in a weird weird, weird, yeah. weird way for me. Um next, we go see Stark. Yep. He's finally got his cabin by the lake. Very Thanos esque. <laughs> He's got his own. Well, closet. and he also <laughs> mentions that, and this is another Age of Ultron at the end there, where he, at the end of uh, Ultron, he tells Cap that he's going to maybe build a cabin for Pepper at yes. the end of Retire. Wow. Great yeah. call. So, I forgot about that. That yeah, was great. Well, that's the joy of watching all these damn movies yeah, right yeah. before. <laughs> you remember everything. <laughs> and I remember everything. It's fresh. Um, this was awesome. And for a second, I was like, they're not going to give him a kid, are they? And they do. And they do, uh, which makes it even more fun. Anyways, we'll get to the end. Yeah, well, for sure. But, um, and they, he's they got his give, garden. They give him everything that he basically wanted. This, yeah, they, this almost, this almost kind of completes... Tony Stark. Like, that, yeah, this is his. That's the end. He right doesn't here. need anything else. Like, no, he he's done being Iron Man. Yeah, you know he got rid of the the chest plate, mm-hmm. just like Pepper told him to mm-hmm. uh, in Infinity War. Yeah, he didn't need it anymore. He, he's living a peaceful life. And it was funny the parallel of him gardening and they they grow their own food and everything like that. And then Thanos also doing that when he was in here. Yep. Like I, I was just looking. I'm like, this is like Thanos' world, except in this world, Stark has Pepper. He has peace. He has a daughter. Yep. And she's playing with, uh, this is our first uh, drop. This is our first, or not drop, sorry, our first plant. The uh, of, uh, of rescue. Of rescue, yeah. Yeah, with, with the helmet. Pepper like, pots. Yeah. yeah. So you're playing with it. Mommy never wears the stuff that I buy her or anything, or I make for her or something like that. And, the, and to add to the parallels between Thanos and Iron Man, one was successful and one had failed. Good call. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, so it, yeah, it's pretty interesting seeing it that way. Do you think if they never came to him, like he would have been, he would have probably been fine. He would have lived his life the way that it was. And the only thing he did, like, but in his character and what which we see obviously later, his guilt is what drives him a lot of the times. Yeah, his guilt drove him to create Ultron. His guilt drove him to sign the Accords and push Cap. He, he, he wants carries, to fix things. He's yeah. all about fixing things. Yeah, yeah Stark. And, and if he sees something wrong, he has to do. Yeah, um, he can't push it aside. He can't yeah. let go of it. And he already had a, a like you know, he was a pseudo father father figure to Peter, and he lost him. Yeah, and I think that's what basically for sure killed him for sure. And they show that when yeah. they, they have the picture, like he's yeah. after he tells them no. Yeah, no he tells them no. He's like, you guys are talking about a time heist. Yeah, yeah. Is, you're basing Which I you're, was great. you're basing everything. Off time travel, off of one movie, yeah, yeah Back yeah. to the Future, yeah. Which Silvestri, who does the music, also did Back to the Future soundtracks. Yeah. So yeah. I like that touch. Actually, and if even funnier, my friend Tanya, who lives in Calgary, she's at an expo and she was at the uh, Back to the Future panel. Oh, I'm jealous. So she so she sent me some photo, some video, or she had it on her Instagram of of Marty McFly talking, and and the doc is there and everything oh. like that. And she got a picture with um, Tom Welling, the Smallville. Oh, Superman. Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, so anyways, shout out to Tanya for that. Nice. Because of the Back to the Future reference. And I'm I watched it like so two, three jealous. weeks ago. It's so good. I know a few years ago they went there too. Calgary Expo. The yep. Back to the Future. Maybe it was last year even. Maybe. Yeah. I need to go to one of those. I, I, yeah. I grew up with Back to the Future, so. It's so good. Yeah. Place that's so in my good. heart. Uh, well, and that's the cool thing about this movie is that it has, as Back to the Future has great plants and payoffs. Yeah. Like that's a that movie is the quintessential plant and payoff movie. Yeah. They don't waste any of them. Uh this one kind of has a lot of that too. Mm-hmm. And you can definitely tell there was that influence in there to make sure they plant and pay off a lot of what they've established in the entire universe. Yeah. But also in this movie. Which yeah. I which I really yeah, it appreciate. Works. It. Yeah. Uh he's sitting there washing dishes. Yeah. Uh sees a picture of Peter. That obviously changes his mind. Yeah. Goes up and uh, talks to his daughter. That was a really nice scene. 
while he's first trying to figure out time travel and Did lo, you do that first? lo and behold he figures it he out. figures it out i at first i didn't really like that scene because mm-hmm. it's like all of a sudden you just discovered time travel yeah we didn't have anything in the past 21 movies that kind of hinted at time travel and yeah. all of a sudden in like a span of 2 minutes you figured it out anyways that's just a nitpick do you i think i can that sus- he was working on suspend, it before uh, do you think he was trying to figure out a way to right the wrongs like his way and 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 establish it and now that scott lang has shown up and he's introduced I, that side if he was i kind of wish they showed that a little bit yeah to give more stability to the whole discovering time travel scene yeah. it was quick it was quick i mean i'm just nitpicking but For it sure. is just yeah. like and, oh, and you can that's a, okay but if this was any other movie yeah. you could tear that even yeah, just that alone and, to pieces Again, it's just a comic book movie. For sure. I can suspend my belief again yeah. for this. Um, but yeah, he says shit. And then well, his in Iron Man, is- sorry, in Iron Man 2 was funny because he discovered the atom really quick. Yeah. Like he, well, he so again, I guess if we like, go, boom, boom, boom. yeah, if we go back to that, then sure. I guess, you know, he's, he is a genius. So really I'll doubling down yeah, on that genius. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, sorry. The, the daughter. So he, he discovers shit. time travel. Yeah. Shit. Or how, how and do then, he discovers the GPS factor of the yeah. time travel yeah whatever i'm just <laughs> making it simple because the more i think about it it just hurts my brain yeah yeah he says shit and then she says shit that was cute yeah they that cast was, her that really was very well. cute and i i can to- i totally understand that because anytime i swear in front of my kid he just like a sponge he'll yeah. just like shit and all that stuff right back so i get that uh yeah they have a nice little moment there it was great tell me a story um yeah, once upon a time, there was a girl that went to bed or something. <laughs> I thought that was good. He's a great father. Yes. Like, he seems like he is everything that he wanted his father to be. Yep. Which pays off itself. Which pays off on. again. And it just hurts even more to see him. Anyways, yeah, we'll yep. get to the end there. But uh, it, And the I love you 3000. I love you 3000 stuff. Beautiful. Yeah. Because I used to say I'm Audi 5000 for some reason. I don't remember where I got that from. <laughs> I used to say that. I thought that I was cool once well, upon a no, time. Well, no, now you can say I love you 3000. I never told anybody I love them except for Soph. So. Oh, <laughs> well, now you can tell her. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, right now we're probably at 1,000. So we have oh, to wait, to find, all right, all right. wait for the one-year anniversary. Okay. <laughs> It'll just ramp up. 2,000, yeah. 3,000. Hopefully 4, I can say I love you 50,000. Oh, 50th anniversary. And then what yeah. up? <laughs> you can get to, you know, I love you 10K. There you go. 11K. Yeah. And so on and so forth. Yeah, exactly. It just the only problem is then I just have to double down on everything. Like everything <sighs> just has to ramp up from there. It's like, what does love you 1000 mean? And what does love you 5000? Like if love you 1000, we're going to McDonald's for supper and love you 2000. Like we're going to start. Yeah. Chili's. Make it very small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The higher the number, make it small and yeah. then slowly build up. Yeah. yeah. Um, And then he goes that back downstairs after that. And yeah. where was, was Pepper behind him the whole time on the couch? Because I didn't see her at all. No, I think she was just there afterwards. Just, I, okay. Yeah, it was just him working on time travel. Yeah. Yeah, she's reading about composting, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, that was, yeah. And in true Tony Stark fashion, he can't concentrate yeah. because he just discovered time travel. And I mean, I don't blame him because if I, I just agree. discovered time travel, yeah. I wouldn't be able to focus on anything either. Yeah. Me so, neither. yeah. And, and, and she has his, she gives him her blessing. Which was that like i don't know if it's because of what he went through like you'd think that she'd put up more of a fight because she's always been or is she thinking that i mean she does establish okay so you can bring everyone back but make sure that what we have we sorry excuse me what we have we don't lose yeah so I guess she sets the ground rules mm-hmm. if he's going to pursue this. That's some pretty intense ground rules for yeah. something that you have no <laughs> don't, idea was going to happen. Don't fuck up what we have yeah. if you can bring everyone else back. Yeah. Well, I, I do I do love that she gives him her blessing. Me too, because in an Infinity War, she was like, Tony, no, no. like when, well, when she calls him from the, when he's his, up in space. Yeah, his whole arc, I mean, she's always been against everything he does for, which, for you know, most part. Yeah, which, rightfully so, though. I yeah. mean, they almost died. I he's, mean, he's, he's almost died a bunch of times. Yeah, he's just too all over the place. She, yeah. And in Iron Man 3, like, they all almost died. Yeah. If it wasn't for the way he designed the suit, she would have been dead, like in their rubble, right? Yeah. Um, 
Then, so, and it's racking his brain because he does need to fix it. Like, he's yeah. probably been thinking about it for five years. That's what makes me kind of believe, like, he's been trying to work on a plan yeah, for five years. I mean, for five years, obviously, he's must he must be thinking about it, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I can believe that he's been working on something yeah. that maybe helps speed up the discovery of time travel. Or, or a way to even do it, right? Yeah. Um, where are we next? Uh, Hulk slash Banner, Professor Banner at the... At the diner. At the diner, yeah. Which seems to be doing okay. There's a guy working there. There's people outside. There's yeah. kids coming up. Like, <laughs> they, it seems like that it diner felt is okay. a little out of place in yeah. a yeah in a you know somewhat dark world yeah. that they've been living in. Yeah, I don't like. And I mean, again, after five years, some people move on, some people don't. Yeah. Like, and he, Cap even said that, right? Yeah. Uh, did that throw you off? Did, did uh, the Banner Hulk thing that, throw you off? I think that was another thing that I didn't like. It was, uh, yeah, Hulk and Banner working things off screen. Yeah, I would have, I would have liked to see, you know, how, how, okay, yeah, you know, Banner bringing Hulk back. Yeah, I, I don't know. I just kind of felt, I don't know. That's another original six that I felt that they kind of shelved or. I felt uh, aside from the snap that he does, they majorly underused him yeah. he wasn't even in the final battle and i get no. it because his whole right side was pretty much fried but i i wished there was more hulk yeah they benched him yeah they, it, 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 well it, it was it was banner like that's what it was we never really we only got the hulk in color and size yeah but we got banner the professor whole hulk whatever yeah, professor hulk. yeah i don't know i just felt like <coughs> yeah i felt they did him wrong which was part of the um a comic line I think that's why they had it in there. There was a comic, there's a line in uh, comics. I haven't read it, but I know that it exists that Banner was able to get. The yeah. Two. He, he does become professor Hulk in yeah. the comics. Yeah. Uh, it, but it was still kind of a funny scene with the selfies. Yeah. Uh, uh, and then watching when, it the second time, I felt like it dragged a little too long. That joke ran too long. Yes. Yeah. That joke and the star Lord and Thor joke at the end ran too long. Both of those. Yeah. yeah those, I thought they were uh, funny, but it was like, okay, a little too much. Yeah. Uh, and the whole dab, Hulk dabbing. Yeah. It's kind uh, of, well, and, and it, it almost feels like it, it's just that move is played out now. So it's not really that cool anymore. <laughs> like the floss and Shazam, <laughs> like yeah. it's not really relevant anymore. Again, I, I just hated him seeing, I, I hated seeing him do that Yeah, is what I, uh, yeah. The selfie I could get behind, you know, he, people know who he is. Yep. People know who the Avengers are. I can get behind wanting a selfie with the Hulk. I get that. But <sighs> dabbing Hulk. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I didn't need no. to see that. Uh, and they were like throwing, they were making fun of Ant-Man the way that people have been making fun that, of Hulk. Uh, that Hawkeye. is the part that is, yeah, that is the part that they probably could have cut out because yeah. yeah. How are they supposed to know who Ant-Man is? For really? sure. Aside from like the well, Hulk doesn't know because yeah. he wasn't, he yeah. wasn't in civil war. He was in uh Sakaar. Yeah. Um, but what was fun, the selfie was also funny because it wasn't Ragnarok when Thor was there. So it kind of like, I don't, I don't think they were thinking that, but like when Thor shows up to find Odin and the girls come by and he does the selfie. Yeah. And then so Hulk does the selfie in this one kind of thing, or he's posing for people. But that was kind of like, uh, I was like, oh, I remember, it just yeah. reminded me of it. From Ragnarok, yeah. And so now we get into it. So Banner. Yeah, now it starts to pick up a little. The yeah. testing begins. They, they recruited Banner. They recruited Banner. Yeah. They take him to the lab. They set some stuff up with that man with the van, right? They had the van. Uh, yes. Yeah. That's where they did their first testing. And he goes back and <laughs> forth. Uh, what was he? They, he was, uh, teen, uh, like 10 year old Scott. Yep. 80 year old Scott. 80 year old Scott. Baby Scott. Infant Scott. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I like that. They almost figured it out. They mm-hmm. made, or how did, how did Stark put it? They didn't figure out time travel, but they figured out how to make, I don't know how he worded it, but it's basically essentially the person is time traveling, not through time, right. but himself. Right. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Again, Paul Rudd. He was awesome in that he scene. He was great. Yeah. Well, and, and the thing is, you can tell that, like, first of all, they established he's an intelligent character in the first Ant-Man yeah. when he figured out a clever way to blow up the uh, safe. Yeah. He has and, a, what was it? A PhD or something in engineering electronics he? or something like oh. that. So he's not. He's not a dumbass. He's, he's not a dumbass, yeah. but he's not as smart as Banner. Obviously. Or yeah. obviously Stark or whatever. Right? But, it, but he could, but he learned a lot from Hank and Hope. 
Yes. That, and they showed that he's like, he's picked up a lot and he understands a lot yeah. of these concepts. Also, he was there. Yeah. Right. Um, and was able to, to, to figure that out and, and keep up with everybody. Yeah. It's almost like Cap and Widow were kind of the ones that were like, <laughs> I don't know what we're doing. Yeah. This here, right? is not my realm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, literally end. Metaphorically. Yeah. <laughs> not my quantum realm. Uh, uh you see yeah. what I did there? <laughs> it's a good one. Uh, and then, was this the taco scene after where they're outside and before Stark shows uh, up? Stark, no, Stark first shows up and again, he reiterates to Cap that he can't lose what he has. Yes. And, you know, this is basically a Hail Mary and then he gives him his shield back. Which he, yeah, which he Which kept. he had, well, from Civil War. I didn't notice the, um, the black uh, panther marks on it. Was that on it? No. Okay, because that shield had the marks on it, but I mean, maybe he fixed it for him. You pr- I mean, it's yeah. been five, six, seven years. Yeah. So for it's been a probably while. buffed it out at yeah. some point. Yeah. Let's get a little buffer on that. Let, let, let's just yeah. Let's just say he buffed it out. Yeah. And it was. I liked how he was like speeding too. Like he's just like yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. And I then figured he, it out. <laughs> I figured it. I like that he like pulls. He stops way too far ahead of <laughs> Cap, and then puts it in reverse, and he's like, "That was a re- that was a funny moment." Why like, long Cap's face? Just sitting there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like he just he just comes back in like he's back as yeah. Iron Man kind of thing. Like he's like we're going to do this. Yeah. We're going to do You guys this obviously guy. need me, so here exactly. I am. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um and then where and do the, we go from there? The music for when Cap got his shield back. Yeah. A nice throwback to the original Cap uh soundtrack. Yep. Agreed. I fucking yeah. love the soundtrack in this one. Well, and what's great is that they they bled together almost all the other soundtracks in in a cool way. Like yeah, they gave, like Thanos had his theme in there at some point. I love that and one. That's yeah, a there, great one. Yeah, there were it was and, well, and on Vormir too. Like that yep, was the, the that Vormir song theme. Is a yeah, heartbreaking theme song yeah. or theme for that moment. Uh, where do we go from there? New Asgard. Ah, uh, yes. Oh wait, they got to put the team back together. And then they go to like right? Wasn't that the thing? It's like well, we yeah, need team back. We, we need our team back. And yeah. then Cap is like, we're working on it. Yes. Yeah. Um. And then so we got Rocket, and we've got uh Hulk driving to yeah. New Asgard. So before that is when Ant Man Scott is trying to eat his tacos. Yeah. That was pretty funny. I, I like that. Poor guy. It, it's like Nebula shows up. He's so like Neb- the rookie. Yeah. He's yeah. just like everyone's kind of picking on him. I felt so bad yeah. for him. <laughs> oh yeah. Like and and he's like literally one of the most important people in this thing. Yeah. Like, he, he does just, a lot in this movie. He basically was like, yeah, time travel is how we're gonna fix things. Yeah. He's the main reason why shit gets done. Yeah. Thank God for that rat. Aside from the rat, yes, <laughs> the rat and Ant Man are the reason why Thanos gets defeated. Uh, and, and change so, my mind. And so Nebula shows up. Uh, Rocket's back. Like they're all kind of coming. War yep. Machine comes War back. War Machine comes like, back. Like let's get the team together. Yep. Uh, and then yeah, uh, Scott's just sitting there watching these people. Like what the hell's going on? Yeah. And then Some uh, little or average size man or average whatever. Size yeah. man. <laughs> and then. Uh, when they drop down, he loses his taco. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, and then Hulk brings him to tacos. That was cute. Yeah. Because he was going off to go find, yeah. uh, to to go to our next scene. Yeah. In New Asgard. Uh, was that the, n- obviously it wasn't in Norway. They just found this little. It was where, town. it was where his father passed away. That's in Norway? Because uh, he died yeah. in Norway. Yeah. In Ragnarok. Right. But th- did they drive all the way to Norway? Because it seemed like. Well, they no, they took, they took the, what is that? Is that the Benatar that they took? Did they? Yeah. Okay. And they landed it there, and then they took a vehicle uh, up to wherever New Asgard was. Because I figured, which it was, was the exact same area where his dad, where died. Hela arrived, and where yes. his dad died, and all that stuff. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful little town. Yeah. Like it's a cute little like harbor <laughs> kind of thing. Really yeah. cloudy, but I was like, this place looks awesome. And we see Valkyrie. Yes, she has returned. She's got a sweater on. Yeah. She's fishing. <laughs> Living, a normal Living a normal Earth life. Yeah. yeah. All of Asgard is kind of just. She's uh, so badass. Herself. When we when we rewatched. Ragnarok I was like every yeah. every time she was on and like the whole slow motion scenes and everything man she's so badass I yeah. love everything about her Tessa like Thompson ev- right yeah yeah I, I love everything about her character in yeah. Ragnarok uh from the opening yeah to the very everything her drunken I mess yeah her um anyways and, and, yeah yeah and her attitude too like just, yeah and it's cool because it seems like she still has it but it's obviously toned down yeah uh we find out that Thor is not doing well and he hasn't no, been doing well. No, he hasn't. And they Five see years him took once a, toll a month. On him. Yeah, yeah, they see him once a month when he comes out to get beer, yeah. which is surprising. I think he'd go through beer a lot faster. Like he downed that one beer when he met Doctor Strange yeah, real pretty fast. quick. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and then we have our scene with Thor, which I mean, we only did see one pile of kegs. That's true. That could have been, that could have been the month's <laughs> worth of kegs. Yeah. Yeah. For weeks or whatever. Yeah. Uh, that scene in the trailer, it was rocket was going into the, yeah, that hunt. was Thor's house. I that guess. That was Thor's yeah. house. And the only thing they cut out was the Hulk. Yep. They go in. Our boy's not doing well. He's getting no, some weight. He is not. He's lebowski He is lebowski I felt like this sequence dragged on a little much too. Mm. They could have trimmed a fair bit out of this. Yep. I do not like that they threw Fortnite in there. I thought it was a. Uh, I thought it was an okay bit. Um, I absolutely. This, I, I absolutely carry. hated it. Do you hate Fortnite? No, okay. I. I play just it. My kid it plays was, it. Yeah. It yeah. just felt so out of place in this universe. Yeah. I, well, and my thing is like, well, how, if half the place is gone, you, well, how are the servers playing? That's a, that's like... another thing too. <laughs> uh, that, that's another thing. Yeah. Much like the dab, I felt that Fortnite part was uh, when they made the movie because they made it during Infinity War, it was a thing then. Yeah. And now it's kind of like when, how can I put it? When an old person makes a joke, it's like, you know, that was like, that was so three years ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I and, felt it was one of those things. And I know they have this deal where like the actual game has all the uh, Avengers. I know last year they did the whole, uh, what was it? The gauntlet? Uh, the, the infinity gauntlet. Like, yeah. Where thing can, where yeah. you can pick it up and go around and kill people. And I know this year they're doing a bunch of things with the Avengers. I yeah. get that, yeah. but I don't think it needed to be in the damn movie. I don't think so either. I was, however, super happy to see Korg. Oh, yeah. Like, Korg and me? That, yeah. That part was awesome. Hey, and man. I thought it was really funny when Thor is like calling out the kid online. Yeah. Like, that, well, again, as an isolated thing, I thought it was really just, I just thought, I thought it was clever. I thought it was not clever. Sorry. I just thought it was funny because it's like, shit, he is actually the, the god of thunder and like he could do it if he really wanted to. Yeah. It I, was, do, I do get that. It I was am, a cheap bit and I get it. I, I am going to have to disagree. I hated that part. I, I hated it. him. Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm did just, you, okay. Did you have an issue with Thor this whole movie? No. Okay. No, I understand why he's fat. Yep. I understand everything that he's gone through. Yep. I get that. I don't have a. I don't have a problem with him being fat. I just didn't like that. No, I meant like I, I've heard people say they didn't like what they did with Thor in this movie. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. No, like, I, that's what I mean. Like aside from this isolated moment. Uh, okay, on sorry. Own, yeah. Um, I meant moving just past like, that. Yeah. Did you like how what they did with Thor? How they treated Thor in this movie? I did. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I didn't have an issue with it. I felt it was he's a child. Like he's always been kind of a child. Like yeah. even from the first he's... Thor, he's he was again arrogant, pompous, like and he's always had things kind of go his way and even when they didn't, he's always been able to to do to deal with it, right? Yeah. Uh and he's still not done growing. No. no. Like you think his character arc is done after 3 4 movies, yep. well 3 of his own and then, you know, intertwined with two others, three others. Yep. But he's still not done growing, I don't think. Cuz he's never experienced anything like yeah. this before. And he blames himself for a lot of it. Like he, I think he blames himself for everything. Oh, uh, definitely. If, if he never, if whatever happened in Ragnarok, let's say he didn't destroy, he didn't create Surtur to destroy Asgard. Yeah. Um, if, if, his, if he wasn't out in the ship, then Thanos may not have found him. Cause mm -hmm. at least if they were on Asgard, they would have been able to do it. Right. Found a way to defeat Hela another way. Yeah. Maybe who knows? Uh, Get damning his own people, then leading them to here. Then failing in Infinity War after literally taking the brunt of a dying star and borderline sacrificing his yeah. life to create Stormbreaker, a weapon, a god killing weapon or a titan killing titan weapon, killing sorry. Weapon, yeah. And only to get to a point where it, he fails and he just reverts back to being a petulant child or like a, a beaten down kind of. Oh, yeah. He's like defeated. Yeah. Because remember from Ragnarok to basically. Him cutting off Thanos's head. Yeah, that's all within a span of a month. Yes, yes. less even maybe twenty some odd days. Yep, and like that's a lot for someone. You know, you just discovered you had a like you just everything you just said yeah. to take that all in without a, without a, within a month. I yeah, I can under, I can totally get behind his yeah. character. I was just wondering because yeah, I, I've heard a lot of people say oh, they I haven't seen I haven't heard that now. yet. Um, okay, so then we get that we have the conversation uh, with. Uh, He's, I like how he uses Stormbreaker as a bottle opener. <laughs> I was like, oh man, I, I, they're gonna they're gonna sell that. People are gonna have Stormbreakers oh, yeah. in their houses. To Comic pop. cons are gonna be filled yeah. with uh, cosplay Fat Thor. Yeah, Lebowski, oh, yes. Lebowski, Lebowski, Lebowski Thor. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, because it's such an easy thing to do. Yeah, it is. You just literally put like a pillow yeah. or something if you're not already yeah. at that weight. No, it felt uh, good to see him kind of, you know, chubby because I was like, hey, he doesn't have a six pack anymore. Stop he has something, making me feel he, bad. He has something like <laughs> I have. Yeah. yeah. It's like, all right. No, uh, I can be. Yeah, I, I can, can relate totally, to you. I can totally relate to you. I could be like Thor. Yeah. I was we like, both have the same body figures. Yeah, man. I was like super upset around like October ish. I gained like 25 pounds. I felt like garbage. Now I don't feel so bad. <laughs> um, Back to McDonald's we go. <laughs> uh, so we go to Avengers facility from here. The team is together. Yes, everyone's back. Um, Doom and Gloom playing. Perfect song to be playing for a uh, oh, yeah. little uh, montage there of yep. them putting things together. Yep. Um, and then we've got the plan. I like that. I liked how they structured that of like trying to figure out the stones and everything. It was a cool kind of like. I don't know. It's a, it's it's putting a plan together, right? Because yeah. we're at that scene, a time where, heist, a time heist, yeah, where they're all <laughs> talking about where everything yeah. happens, <laughs> and like Thor talking about the ether, hilarious. Yeah, like, is he asleep? <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> I think he's dead. <laughs> uh, and then, and what was really funny is that they're all kind of like sitting there with their like hands on their faces, and then the nebula shows up, and everyone's like, because she's all business. Yeah, like. Oh, the way, yeah, the way Thor handled the whole, whole Jane thing and like, you know, oh, and then, you know, my mom died and yeah. it's just, oh my God. And like Rocket, I think, had his uh, little yeah. paw on his head. He's just like, holy fuck, shut well, up. Well, because to Rocket, he's like, I saw this guy do the most yeah. amazing things and he was my friend. Five, five years later, this is what you've become. What happened to you, yeah. dude? Like, you used to be a legend. Like, it, it was it was such a what happened to you thing. And Rocket's like, I, I can't believe this is the same guy that we rolled that into took a damn, Wakanda. That, that took a damn star yeah. to save the universe. And, and we all rolled in. We had that cool moment. It was awesome. And now look at you. And now, yeah. <laughs> Uh, and the wow. nebula is all business, and then they finally have the revelation. We had three stones in New York at the same time. Yep. That was the Tesseract, that was the Mind Stone, and the Time Stone, which Doctor Strange hadn't come into the picture yet, so yep. we have it at the Sanctum Sanctorum. Yeah. Um, Liquor Street. Yes. And that was their whole, like, oh, shit, we can do this. Yeah. Right? Oh, and obviously they, they need to get Vormir and yeah, Aether and, and all that stuff. Yeah. Right? Um, so then Hawkeye does the test run. Yes. Because Ant-Man seemed a little too nervous to yes. do it. And that was a pretty good moment there where he got to see or feel his family again. Right. And, and like, lit, well, or call out to them. And yeah. then his daughter just runs down. Like he knew they like, were there. Yeah. He was. That yeah. was crazy. That was, Shit that was a works. great scene. Yeah. There's hope. And his, and I loved how he performed all of like, he, he never. There's never really a point where you felt like he kind of forgot what happened. Like, you know, sometimes when you're watching a movie and a character kind of says something or shifts mm -hmm. later on in the the scenes that it's like, wait a minute, don't you remember what happened to you like 25 minutes ago? Yeah. I, I liked how for the majority of this, at least Hawkeye, he was straight. Nebula was straight. Black Widow was like, yeah. they, they maintained their, uh, their emotions and yeah. they, they, they carried what they had with them. They didn't forget them kind of thing yeah and much like thor being on the opposite end same thing right like he kept being the same kind of person um so our plan is now we finally have that scene where they're walking yeah with the nice theme again the nice, it is theme. nice slow motion walk the yep. epic hero walk there mm -hmm. and we step up onto our platform yeah and we go and first, where do we end up? New York. The Battle of New York. 2012. I love that this movie basically takes us on a journey of the past 11 years. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's a it's a great run through these yeah. moments from different perspectives, too. Nice little... Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love seeing that stuff. Like, yeah, yeah I love Back to the Future. But yeah, just seeing like... There's that epic hero shot, you know, the the 180 around the heroes I, in the uh, first Avengers. And I then got, just I got quickly. Yeah. I was like, Oh shit. Yeah. I fucking love that scene. Yeah. And then, yeah, you just shift over to the alley and Oh, there they are. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was awesome. Uh, so we got cap, we got professor Hulk, we've got Ant-Man and we've got Iron Man. Yeah. And they are on the verge to get these, these stones here. Yes. Uh, then we have war machine and Nebula that went to, um, Morag. Morag. Yep. And then we've got black widow and Hawkeye that went to Vormir. So in the Battle of New York, 
I thought it was great how it opened where like Hulk's like, oh, great. Like I've got to do like this whole smash thing. Maybe smash a few things along the way. (laughs) It's like the taxi Uh, throws something. Gratuitous, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And he's like, he's just so evolved as a person. Yeah, he's just like, this isn't me anymore. Yeah. And it was so great. He's just kind of looking at himself like, oh man. like Yeah, I used to be that. Well, And it's funny because it reminds me of, uh, I was listening to the uh, Joe Rogan podcast and he had Mike Tyson on. And Mike Tyson was talking about how he doesn't like looking at himself when he was younger because mm-hmm. he doesn't recognize like he's like i don't even know who that person was so for, for some reason this is kind of the same thing where he's like is this guy a monster smashing everything yeah. and like now he's at this point where he's like i'm not like that like <laughs> i can't even look at you anymore right <laughs> um so where banner was going to the sanctum he, uh, he goes to meet with the ancient one ancient. which i which i thought was awesome yeah. a to show her and b to show her like like deflecting off the yeah. alien invasion because yeah. it kind of gives you perspective of what was going on aside from the avengers battling these things well and this is where my this is where i don't want to be a hypocrite because in captain marvel when i was talking about it i was like where the hell was she this whole time was it not important like was the battle of new york not important enough for her to come in and this is kind of where i'm like wait a minute was this battle of new york not important enough for the sorcerers like story wise not yeah. not how many characters you can add not the logistics of I, making a movie i see that's where i'm like you know i said this about that movie and i'm and i'll i'll echo that sentiment to this one where it's like you know they could where were they up. kind yeah. of thing it, it, I, as opposed to her being in our garden blocking it off that's all i i don't know her line of like when she first arrives or whatever and they have that plan to go kill Thanos. And she said, there's that throwaway. It's not a throwaway line, but there is that line where she says, you know, there's like a million other universes out there and they don't have yep. you guys. Yep. So I feel, and having rewatched these in sequential order, it just, I, I can kind of get behind the whole, uh, you know, she's out there doing other shit. She doesn't Agreed. need to be there. Yep. So okay. I, uh, that's how my brother put it, pitched it too. Like there's a yeah. whole other universe, just like the them. It's like, but I again, I'm just looking at it as that I made that criticism, and maybe that, that battle in New York wasn't big enough. Like Fury sure. knew about it, maybe he just felt like, man, I think we got this handled or yep. something along those lines. And I imagine the ancient one, both the cap, both Captain Marvel and the ancient one have probably experienced something like this, and maybe that's the justification for like, well, this isn't a big deal. I've dealt with this already yeah. fifty different times. Uh, you can look at it. Multiple ways. Yeah. It, Either way. Yeah. Also, I love that they put Hulk and the Ancient One, and I love that she blasted yeah, his, got his uh, spirit, astral form uh, Yeah, his astral called. form out, yeah. And the Hulk's just laying there. What? I thought that was a great, <laughs> great, great scene. And then we cut to Asgard 2013. Oh, yes, yeah. And we're we're in the Dark World time, and we're trying to get the ether from Jane. So those Jane scenes are deleted scenes from the Dark World. Cool. I don't think Natalie Portman, from what I've read and heard so far, I don't think she filmed anything new for this movie. That's actually pretty cool. I will say that the amount of people that they added into this, like mm-hmm. they brought back just for a little bit, yeah. is unbelievable. I know I know she had that falling out with yes. Dark World and everything, yeah. so I, I understand. And I, I mean, I love Natalie Portman as an actress. Me too. I just didn't like Jane as a character. Me too. I hated the relationship. I didn't care for the relationship. I didn't feel like they actually had a legit yeah. one. And yeah. So, but yeah, no, that's pretty cool that they just kind of reused, you know, old footage off the cutting room floor yep. just to kind of put it together. Yeah, and then we've got uh, Thor being a little baby about everything, uh, a and uh, baby, yep. but in his mind, it's like nothing's happened yet. I could do something and save my mom, and like because he's once thinking he see, selfishly. Once he sees his mom, yeah, he you know yeah. he gets those feelings back, right? And I loved how when they were sneaking, there's also Loki. <clears throat> We oh yeah, you see a little hint of Loki and, and in his prison the there, and he notices it. Like he picks it up because he's got the same powers that Freya has, right? Yeah. And uh, I loved that. Uh, Rocket was the one to try to get snap him out of it, and that he's like, Come here. "I lost the Come only here. family yeah. I've ever had," <laughs> and that was that was so great for Rocket because Rocket didn't have too much in this; like he was there around, but everything that he said was he's, he's gotten was so great. much more heart now. Yeah. Like uh, coming from like the first Guardians movie where he's just a little asshole, yeah, he's matured a lot. Well, and especially when you realize that Groot saw him as a father. Yes. When like yep. his last I am Groot, like that would yeah. 
change anybody. Yeah. Right. Much like Thor was changed and everyone was like all those, the things that happened in infinity war changed these characters on such a fundamental level. Yeah. Uh, that it was the catalyst that propelled everything to get to where it needed, like where they are now. And by that, I mean like where they ended up five years later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how he, like he slapped him in the face, I think. And yep. he was like, I lost the only family, which in guardians like, too, you lost shit. To I lost shit too. Yeah. 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 Uh, and we thought he was going to turn, but then he ends up kind of Ditching. running or something yeah, like that. Rocket is once again disappointed. And he has to do everything on his own. Yeah. And he pretty much does. Like, he yeah. literally goes, gets the ether, and he's out. And he's like, all right, man, I got it. But in that time, we have that awesome scene with uh, with Thor and his mom. Yeah. Which I thought that was... I, I didn't mind her at all in the other Thor movies as his mom. Like, she didn't have much to do anyways. No. Yeah. This was a beautiful scene. Yeah. And, and this was the thing that I felt was so important to Thor's character. Yeah. For the, where in Ragnarok, he's like, I'm not as strong as you, right? So he's been trying to be as strong as his father and be like his father, which is why he gave up the throne in Mm -hmm. Dark World. And when his mom says, you need to stop, like, yes, you did fail. She straight up told him. Yeah. But you need to stop, what is it? Stop being who you think you need to be, which was, amazing because he thought he needed to be as strong as his father to defeat Hela. He thought he needed to do all like to be the king of Asgard yeah. or whatever to save to save people in Wakanda or whatever it was. Uh he thought he needed to be the one to kill Thanos with the stones. Like he had built up this idea of what he needed to be. And it was the most human moment for the Thor. Like he had a lot of really good human moments, but this was for me yeah. like awesome. Yeah. And, he, and, he, and his mom was just like the way that um Keep forgetting her name. Friga? Uh, Rene Russo. Rene Frida, Russo. but yeah. So, yeah. Was was awesome. Like just yeah. that piece of dialogue. Yeah. Like she can sense she saw him there, everything yeah. like that. You're Do from you, the future. Yeah. I'm totally from the future. <laughs> just <laughs> in totally tears. Yeah. <laughs> and he acted it so well. Like, yeah. oh man. And that's why I loved him in this. I was like, you know what? The Thor that they established in Ragnarok is the same Thor now. Maybe he was more serious in Infinity War for sure, but now it's like it's like if Thor Ragnarok is in the middle ground, Infinity War is his le- level of seriousness, just one above. Now he's under the Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, definitely. Uh, again, petulant child type of thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thor grabs his hammer back, which was an awesome moment seeing him with Mjolnir. Yeah. But what's going to happen to the Thor in the Dark World timeline? Well, we'll get to that. <laughs> Captain America returns it. Does he? Yeah. It's on the oh, time travel uh, mechanism at well, the end there. Oh, shit. Never mind. Because I thought of that, too. But yeah. then I was like, oh, shit. Never mind. It was there. Because he grabs the shield and he grabs the hammer oh, and then fuck. he goes I back need, in time. I need to fucking see this movie again like five more times. <laughs> um, I love when he grabs it and he's like, I'm still worthy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And then his mom... <laughs> Maybe eat a salad. Yeah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh, such great moments. There was there was great comedic moments in this. Like even the stupid ones or whatever. Like the way yeah. that they timed them as if you just take them as an isolated joke out of the context of yeah. the movie, it's just like yeah, okay, that was falls a funny. little short. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, okay, then we go from there. Are we back Mor- in New York? Morag. We're in Morag. I kind of love- jump all over. Yeah. Just to establish the different scenarios. Right. Um, okay. Do you want to go back? Do you want to go back to the Battle of New York and then go back to this, or do you want to follow this timeline? Uh, Let's just follow the timeline. Sorry, it's I all kind good. of deviated. Um, so, <laughs> War right. Machine and Nebula, twenty fourteen, and this is where things really take a turn. Yep. Because Nebula's internal Bluetooth fucks around with her <laughs> with both the twenty fourteen <laughs> and the other one, trying to sync to both devices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, Thanos, listen. try hitting the restart <laughs> button. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Uh, I thought, I loved how they showed Peter Quill dancing like an idiot with his headphones on and singing it. Oh, I thought man. that was so awesome. And seeing like their perspective of yeah. him horribly singing yeah. it. Yeah. And like dancing and everything. Um, I thought they were going to show the scene. I thought in this one, they were going to show where Gamora actually tells Nebula that uh, he'll never find the soul stone. I, I was expecting out. that too, because, because how did, yeah, at some point off screen, they said Gamora, yeah, Gamora and Nebula had that conversation. Right. I just don't know when. And and it's really interesting because like in the first guardians, they didn't like each other. They fought. Yeah. Uh, and the second guardians, they reconciled, but Nebula was still going after her. So when would they have had the, well, I feel if 
Gamora told this point in time Nebula, Nebula still wanted to please her father. Good so point. Nebula probably would have told her father what he had to do right. to get the Soul Stone. Yep. So it must have been closer to the events of Infinity War when Nebula and Gamora were more on speaking terms. Right, right, right. Uh, good point. Very good point. This is where the movie obviously takes its big like, oh, now we're now this, we're this is the oh trouble. shit moment. Yeah. yeah, this is where we bring Thanos back. We see the new Thanos. Yeah, he is the battle hardened conqueror, wiping I'd, the blood off what, that badass so weapon. Good. Yeah, that weapon is awesome. Yeah, that like is a such a boomerang great yeah. scythe. No, not a scythe sky. or whatever. Yeah, I don't know what you would call that thing, yeah. but it was badass. Yeah, yeah, it was. And like, this is the Thanos that. If he would have shown, if this Thanos right now had all the Infinity Gauntlets, there is no way anybody would have won. He wouldn't have sacrificed half the universe. He would have killed off whoever he wanted. Yeah. This is the blood hungry conqueror. Um, my brother did make a good point, though. He seemed like against that, where in the flashback in Infinity War, he seemed very compassionate and very, um, very Infinity War Thanos, I'll put it that way, to Gamora. Mm. My response was, well, he's talking to a child and he's talking to someone he sees as could be his yeah. daughter or whatever. Um, but, but he's, he's still, still being, Yeah, but he's still conquering. He's still yeah. ruthless. He's still ki- killing people. Yeah. yeah. I would rather fight Infinity War Thanos <laughs> without the gauntlets than this Thanos. Yeah. Because this one is like, this guy is hardcore. Yeah. This is like the- More violent. M- more chaotic. Violent. He's just, yeah. yeah. This is the guy that, like, I am the end all and be all. Yeah. I am everything. I am, as the Matrix says, inevitability. Yeah. I am. In- oh, yeah. Yeah. Matrix. But in this one, he says, I am inevitable. Yeah. Right. Um, Ed Benny Ma's there, which I was glad to see him. Yeah. I really like So he's him. the science guy for yeah. uh, Thanos. That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, he says Donatello. <laughs> uh, Corvus, is, uh, Corvus Glaive is his, uh, I would say, his. Uh, Maybe Leonardo, Leo? maybe not. Maybe and then uh, the big Leo guy is, is Raph. leader, though. I feel like Ebony Maw was more of a leader than he's a mix of all. Maybe he's all just the because turtles. we saw him more in Infinity War, and he was probably the best one out of the Black Order. I think. Yeah, Corvus is pretty bad. I would yeah. say. I would say uh, Proxima and uh, Ebony Maw were like yeah. his most effective. Yeah, Corvus was awesome. Yeah, um, no, I mean they were all awesome. Yeah. I wish we would have seen more of them both yes. in Infinity War and Endgame, but. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and he's finding the two memories. Yes. Sinking and, them. And sinking both memories. <laughs> uh, and he literally goes through the entire Infinity War saga. Or yeah, Infinity right? War. Show me everything. Show me everything. I was like, oh, fuck. Well, there, here we go. This is yeah. how he figures everything out. Which this is, I don't know if this is an actual plant they decided to do. And I'm going to jump to the back when, when Strange says, if I tell you, it won't happen. In this scene, him finding out the end, yeah, is that like well, is that kind of the same <laughs> thing? Like, if I tell you your future, <laughs> it won't work out that way or whatever. In this, I'm, him finding out his future, which is pretty much. I'm guessing Strange didn't see that part because he didn't know. No, I meant on that theory alone, though. Oh, like the theory uh, of if I tell you your future, it will not work out this way. Where so he didn't tell Tony, which is why we got the ending yeah. that we got. But in this version of Thanos, he found so out. So he found out his his future. His future, and, and so him following that path actually deviated and and took that future well, away from him. Well, or unless he was supposed to discover his future, so the future outcome that Strange, yep, the one outcome that Strange had foreseen, right, would come to fruition. Yeah, I don't know. I I again, time travel. It's a real. <laughs> it's a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> I have no idea. That's why you just gotta keep it simple with this movie. It's just yep. keep it. Well, like any, like all the other movies. I mean, even when you go back, back to the future, like oh yeah, so many flaws. There are so many flaws and plot holes. Yeah, Uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Which you know what I loved is that in this movie they referenced a lot, a lot, yeah, and they did it in such a funny Uh, way. Yeah. Uh, So we have that. We see that this is the part where Gamora is already in her mind. I need to get out of here. Yeah. This is the this is the one that's just before She's just leaving. Biding her time. She's just waiting for the right opportunity yeah. to get out. To get out. Yeah. Um what else I, I don't know I remember. Uh, exactly then it cuts to back to Battle of New York. Oh, if you shit. want to go back there. Yes. This uh, is where Ant Man says the whole that's America's ass. <laughs> 
That was so good. Because Tony's like, you know, Cap, those pants don't do you No, <laughs> and I know that, that that was an ongoing thing afterwards, too. I think they only did it once Because more. his costume looked so bad. Yes. I, 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 dude, he, I never liked that. No, it, and it did look bad rewatching them. It looked, them. It looked it horrible in the first adventures. It, it, sorry, no. it doesn't hold up anymore. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah. So I, I like that they kind of made fun of it. For sure. Yeah. Uh, and it was great seeing it from that side. It was funny yeah. showing them. Yeah, and then Stark mentioning, yeah, I mean, we can pose all day, but let's <laughs> yeah. get a drink or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then they're they're walking him out. Loki the, was saying The something. cleanup crew, yes. Rumlow and uh, the bald-headed dude. Yes. Um, I forget what his Hi- name is. The Hydra The, the Hydra yeah. plants, yeah. Crossbones. We'll put it that way. Well, Rumlow was crossbones. Yes. And then there was and the, the bald. I just was... forget the bald dude's name with yeah. the glasses. I forget. He was the one that was also in, uh, he was both in Winter Soldier. He was in the he first in Avengers, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he was in most of them, yeah. Um, and then Hulk doesn't get to ride the elevator? No. Oh, past Hulk. Hulk. Past Hulk, sorry. Yeah. Doesn't get doesn't to ride get, the elevator. Yeah, doesn't like taking the stairs. And that was that was pretty funny. I just figured he would have like smashed out, but yeah. maybe because they wouldn't, didn't allow him to break anything. But I, clearly the window, the one window outside was open, but maybe they didn't want I him mean, to and land. And he did punch the elevator. Yeah, but they, they got that <laughs> fixed by Age of Ultron. Right? They uh, cleaned that tower up pretty good by the time good. Age of Ultron came around. Well, they got it, they had to get rid of the rest of the letters, right? Yeah. Because we had the A that was eventually there. Yeah, I like the Stark uh, and Ant-Man the yeah, that fl- was the flick me thing. That yeah. was pretty cool to see. Uh, and he got uh, where did he flick him onto? Uh, the tesseract. Yes, but he went. On oh to, no! Oh, on he went to on Stark. To Tony. On yeah. to Stark. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um, and then so Hulk is going down the stairs. That's happening. Uh, the the nice little uh, callback to the first Avengers when present Iron Man jumps off the Stark Tower. It was it was exactly exact the same good call. jump off from yeah. uh, the 2012 Avengers. I, I love his suit in this one. Oh man, that is so the classic. Yeah. that's the classic Iron Man suit yeah. with the yellow on the arms. Uh, it was such a great choice. Uh, if you go back and look at Iron Man comic covers or whatever, yeah. that's pretty much yeah. the outfit. That's yeah, minus a bunch of the muscles. Pretty slick. It was so good. It yeah. looked like such a like. It looked like he gained like 45 pounds of muscle. <laughs> Because uh, the nanotech was so slimming. And then after that, we got the Winter Soldier throwback elevator scene. Loved it. I was seriously expecting them to just fight again. But I yeah. get it. Hail Hydro was a little bit better. I was on board with that. That and, was awesome. And it's a callback to that comic book. The, the comic book series. Yep. Yeah. That came out when they did that. That was such a... That was so brilliant. Because in my mind, I'm like, okay, we're going to see if... like. The only reason it works is when we we got, let's say we're hoping that they were going to fight again, right? Yeah. But we got a much better fight right after. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Cap versus Cap. That was awesome. I can do this all day. Yeah, I know. (laughs) It was so good. Like, because he looks at himself, like he's seeing himself. He's like, what a Boy Scout. Like, oh, son, you have no idea what you're up against. No, their fight was pretty sweet, too. The whole throwing the shields at each other. Yeah, man. That looks so great. Like a page out of a comic book. There's plenty of those in this movie. But yeah, yeah, no, that was pretty, pretty sweet. It was so well done. And then when he like drops him. And he's like, that is America's that ass. That is America's <laughs> ass. So proud of it. And they shot it really well and it looks seamless. And they obviously got away with a lot because he had his helmet on. Yeah. Whereas definitely, our cap Definitely did. a stunt double yeah. with voiceover done. It yeah. was done so well. It was, I thought it was a really good length because we don't have a lot of time here. Like we need to yeah. move fast. So it was, it was so well paced. It was awesome. It was well done. It was like him and, poking And it was himself. like just enough, right? Yeah. Like you said, it was short, yeah. but it was like perfect amount. That's why I'm kind of glad that they didn't have the fight scene in the elevator either because yeah. they would have had to, had that. I and want, then, yeah. I wonder if it was one or the other while they were maybe putting it together yeah. either we show an elevator fight scene or do we fight them together yeah, yeah. or or like because the one in uh winter soldier was so amazing oh, I, I love that scene like so that incredible. elevator fight scene was so good yeah and so now it's like okay and uh, just that uh taking away subverting your expectations of what's going to happen because it does the call back to winter soldier the yeah. cleanup crew is there and you're expecting oh shit we're going to see this thing again it's like Oh, what a smart cookie. Yeah. <laughs> like, and the way that he does it too, like just looking and just leans over. Uh, then, And then we see Alexander Pierce, another Winter Soldier. Uh, that was pretty awesome seeing him too. And I, again, this is where I was saying where they got so many people to come back and reprise their roles. Yeah. 
Like, and, and just even for a little bit. I love that Stark called Ant Man Stuart Little at this part. <sighs> All right, Stuart, anytime now, Stuart Little, something along those lines. What yeah. did he call Rocket? He's like, Ratchet. Ra- no, he is like something the bear. Oh, I thought you were a build a bear. That was yeah. at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> We forgot that, but when you mentioned the Abbott thing, it's like, I thought I was talking I, to a bit. I love that Stark has a fucking gimmick name for everyone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That dude would be so crazy at trivia. Like, he just remembers everything. Yeah. Um, well, he, he's got he's the biggest genius. brain. Yeah, he's... So, Ant-Man moves from down yeah, uh, to where the thing is. Stark a little seizure yeah. something yes. along those lines pulls his, pulls, kind of pulls his pulls, plug so uh, to speak that's disgusting being in like part of the body there yeah <laughs> um my question in this part is because it's at the end of avengers they just end up giving him yeah the the briefcase or whatever they put loki in the thing everyone looks like they just they just walked out and it's fine and this looks like there was that struggle right yeah but it didn't seem like they had that struggle then. Obviously, it was no. later because they changed out of their uniform. They somehow like got out of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like that Thor is like, yeah, we got to go for lunch. And then I got to take uh, Loki to Loki. Yeah. to Asgard. Yeah. Lunch being the shawarma place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I freaking love that. Yeah, that was so great. Um, and then, obviously, it doesn't go very well. No. And then Loki. Loki steals the Tesseract. And he's gone. And then he's gone. And he's officially back in. He's officially alive. Well, time travel. If Cap takes the stones back to the original timeline or where mm. they took them loki never really took the stone right he just took yeah he took the tesseract and he was able to get out of it i love how they did it too like pretty much like see i, I don't know with this does yeah. it open up for him bring it? i i don't know this yeah. is the whole time travel podcast that yeah. you, you can probably do down the road but i i don't have the mental capacity to do a yeah. time travel thing I'm that's still, why i'm, I'm just still keep, that's why out. i'm just keeping it simple yeah I still try to figure out how old school cameras used to work with the flash and the light and stuff. I'm not, <laughs> I, I'm not that type of person. Um, yeah, that whole no stairs bit. That's how he loses the te- Tesseract. Yes. Hulk, past Hulk comes out and knocks Stark out of the yes. air there. Yeah. yeah, he screws it up because he's so mad about the no stairs. No stairs. Um, yeah. And then that goes all haywire. Yeah. And then where do we go from there? Um, We end up going back to Hulk and... Yeah, she explains the timeline back to the whole time travel thing where it's basically, yeah, we have one flow of time and you take, you know, you disrupt anything, taking the stones out, you create these splits. I love that graphic, by the way. Yeah. She just uses the little like shimmering line there. Yeah. Yeah, It's pretty awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but then he kind of, cause she like makes fun of him for being a man of science or whatever. Yeah. and, And then he ends up, being like, well, no, if we bring it back to here, then bring everything back, yeah. goes back to normal again kind of thing. And she's like, oh. Like well, he, has- name dro- he name drops. Strange. Uh, strange, yes. yeah. And, and, and she's like, yeah. oh, shit, he gave you the time stone willingly? Or he gave the time stone willingly yeah. to Thanos? Yeah, because she, kno- she, yeah, she, she knew like, she knew that he's going to be the all-time, yeah. all-sorcerer supreme, whatever yeah. the title is there. Yeah. Uh, and just that alone was so good. And then she, puts she yeah, Tilda Swans, Swinton, Swinton. Sorry, yeah. yeah, she's yeah, she's pretty badass. I wish they didn't kill her off in Doctor Strange. I think maybe the backlash of the whitewashing was a big deal to a lot of people. Uh, yeah, of the character. I, I uh, get that, yeah. but she's such a good she was actress. great. Yeah, she was still great. I still contend that like that scene with the lightning when she dies. Yeah, that's that pretty. that scene alone is one of the I like one that of the great MCU yeah, scenes. That character alone is pretty sweet. I wish we yeah. would have seen more of her. Yeah, but. she did so good with it. Um, but yeah, then, then yeah, Thanos sees everything past Nebula. Oh right, they're back in Thanos' ship, and he's like, he looks at himself saying inevitable, and then all of a sudden the head chopped. The head, it. yeah, this is my future. Yeah, and then we go. Yeah, see, did we talk about Quill? So he's an idiot. Oh yes, yeah, and they what did they do? Didn't they hit him over the head or something? Yeah. <laughs> pretty I loved, pretty I loved, simplistic. I love the uh, Indiana Jones reference from War Machine. Yeah, have you? Yeah, have you <laughs> Temple of the Power game? Stone. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's got to be booby traps. <laughs> Spikes with skeletons on them. Yeah, yeah, I love and, that. And it's awesome for me because I recently watched Indiana Jones, like the the first. I watched Last Crusade and I watched uh, Ark of the Covenant. Nice. Um, or Raiders of the Lost Ark. Sorry, I didn't watch Temple of Doom. I don't really care for Temple of Doom. That uh, much. See, when I grew up, when I was growing up, that one was my favorite one. Even though yeah, I know yeah. it's like one of the worst ones, I yeah. love that one. Yeah. Uh, well, and the only reason I watched that like three months ago. Yeah. So, but I watched the original ones. I'm like, man, these are so good. But so that reference was just really funny. The fact that I watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 
and Back to the Future in the past two weeks, plus the Indiana Jones movies. Yeah. For some reason, like all those references were in this movie and they were in the back of my mind as they were spitting them and out on screen. And they hit a lot of references. Yeah. Speaking of another reference, when Nebula grabs the Power Stone and her arm gets, you know, singed off and it's just a skeleton, Terminator. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Yeah. Good I call. I fucking oh, love yeah. that. I'm another time an traveling movie. Yeah. And it was so good. She's just like looking at her hand. It's and just like when Arnold cuts his arm off in yeah. T2 and he's like, what I'm about to show you. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, well, the other one we never mentioned is they, they got their Star Wars hand cutting off scene early on because they did cut off Thanos' uh, yes. hand. We forgot That's to another, mention that yeah. as well. Um, which is obviously their running Star Wars thing throughout the entire yeah. MCU. Uh, from there? Uh, yeah. And then they get the Power Stone and Rhodey gets, manages to go back. And Nebula doesn't. Right. Back to the future, yeah. And then Nebula doesn't. She yeah. gets another power surge and then gets taken yeah. by past Thanos. Right. So then you think, so what happened was they just essentially hijacked that memory completely and took it out of her? Or did she like, I'm trying to picture what would have happened in that. Like who took what out of whom? I think these- they I think they were holding her captive for more information and then past Nebula infil- infiltrated the present, present crew yeah. yeah uh i yeah this part was really cool yeah like the, the the way that it worked out was really cool they captured her i think they were like torturing her or something like yeah. that um i liked how she was like we hated each other we fought each other but then we became friends and then sisters yeah to gamora i thought that was really cool especially because we know gamora was at the point where she was again on her way out yeah uh and one thing that bothered me was so after future or present nebula got her you know circuits back on board Mm -hmm. and then she ran to the ship Mm -hmm. she was calling to warn that thanos knows or whatever why didn't she just go back with the future that's a good point i don't know she still had her time travel thingy yeah so and it's not like thanos knew where hawkeye and black widow were going true vormir well I think they might have if it's in Nebula's memories. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah, she tries. So, she runs back to the ship, tries to warn them that Thanos knows. Okay. That makes more sense. That's why yeah. she didn't go back. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. For that reason. Okay. Yeah. Because then at that point, it's like I just completely forgot about that. At least that's how it processes in my mind. I mean, somebody else might be like, you might be right. Like, it might be kind of like, why didn't you, though? Like, you sent your messages. Yeah. Get the hell out of there. So, none of this happens to you. Yeah. Right. Um, so then, then we go back to New York where Stark and Ant-Man and Cap realize- They're in the car. Yeah, they're uh, they're in the car. Yeah. It's a failed mission. Yeah. But they're like, wait, we can go back to 1970. To get some pin particles. Yeah, to get some pin particles. Yeah. Here, take this staff back, Ant-Man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> here you go, buddy. Yeah, you're on your own here. Yeah. Um, yeah, this one was the one where it's like, you know, there's no coming back from it or it's, we don't, it's know a one way. Able. Yeah. It was yeah. a one way ticket. Yeah. Uh, and is that, it's a one way ticket if it fails, right? If it fails. Clearly yeah. they, they did it and yeah. came back. Uh, this part I really, really liked. Stark and his dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. just th- this whole section I thought yeah. was great. I felt that, uh, because of this scene, first of all, the Stark and his dad was great Yeah, because in, um, I forget which movie it was. Oh, in Iron Man 1. I never got to say bye to my dad. Yeah. I never got to say bye to my father or whatever. Um, well, right even, from that Even in uh, Civil War well, when he does the barf thing. Yeah. Yeah. But that one was more like he was saying like they never got, they met, never made it. They never whatever. Yeah. That's that's the way I wish it went down because he actually did say Oh, goodbye. right. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. But the first one was literally him looking over to um, Obadiah and being like, I never got to say bye to my dad. Like just the yeah, way that yeah, he said yeah, it. Yeah. Right. Uh, and that's kind of your hint of like, you, we really get to, we start learning this character more and more and more from that yeah. point. Right. And learning about the relationship of his father and, and how he reacted in civil war. Yeah. Uh, I thought that was, that was really, really great. And he got to, like, he essentially kind of told him you have a granddaughter. Cause he's yeah. like, well, I've got a daughter and he's like, Oh, you know, congratulations or whatever. Uh, I, I did love their moment together. Yeah. It was so good. And yeah. you can just see Tony just, relieved to talk to his father like a normal human being yeah that hug at the end was great because it was yeah. so awkward for him it's for just, howard but yeah thank you yeah. for everything that you do <laughs> yeah <laughs> for everything that you do uh and, and he got to say goodbye and we find out that jarvis was actually their uh driver 
Yeah, he that's the same actor from the Agent Carter series. I've never seen the Agent Carter series. Jarvis is in that series. Cool. Yeah. I so didn't that's know that. a nice that's a nice little uh Easter egg that they threw in there. And then I think it was the moment when Cap sees Peggy that that's his decision like we're in Oh, definitely. Yes. Ultron he's like the guy that wanted a house, a family and all that went into the ice yeah, 70 years ago. He doesn't want it anymore. But he's home now, right? He's at home he, now. He's on like a military style kind of world right like he can lead this team that's his world that's that's my yeah i'm that, comfortable here this is where i'm meant this to is do. what i know this is what yeah. i'm going to keep doing yeah but him seeing her and being that close to her realizing that he can have it real, yeah now Again. that he can do it yeah. yeah that that's what was so like that's what's so important about both these scenes a uh closing for tony and b another way of like i can live my life differently for cap yeah I can do things differently. Um, I don't know if you caught it, but when uh, we first see Hank Pym, yep. there's a panning shot and we get to see the Ant-Man helmet. The, the original. Or, the original helmet. Yes. Yeah, which is yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, because they show the ants. His CG wasn't that great on his face. His hair no. was great, but the CG wasn't that great. Yeah, but I mean, we only see him briefly, so yeah. eh, whatever. I was worried that they were going to draw out this thing to be like this crazy chase they, we caught them kind of thing. Like when the one person came down and was like, oh, we, oh yeah. By the way, we still have a landline at the, the studio. Holy shit. What is that? Yeah. Um, Did I go back in time? <laughs> <laughs> you might as well have. Uh, so I apologize for the ringing in the back. So I was worried that when she was like, well, I don't recognize them. They seemed weird. I, I was really worried that they're going to add a run thing where like they – they have to like just another drawn out scene where they have to like run away and ruin it. But they stayed in those moments. They allowed them to to get through it pretty easily, which was fine. Yeah, because that's not what's important here. But what was important was getting the Cap seeing Peggy and the Tony seeing his dad. Yeah, I thought all of those parts were necessary, and they didn't get a whole oh get them, it's them, like that's the person or whatever. Yeah, that is such a great scene. There were so many good lines. I like the one line that I think it was Stark that tells his dad. Potts tells Stark, sorry. Yeah. Oh, Howard, yes. Howard, Howard Potts. Potts. Yeah, Howard yeah. Potts and Howard yeah. Stark. Yeah. Uh, what is it? The no amount of money bought a second of timeline. Yes. You know, yeah. if you can tell your son or any Whoever. piece of advice or whatever. Yeah. That's uh, such a good line. Well, and, and my thing was the way he looked at that line. Yeah, he said he recognized it. For a second, I thought it was going to be a thing where, like, Howard had actually said that line to him. Yeah. Um, but he didn't. And it was just, yeah, it was a great line that he had. And it showed how, how much different Tony is from his dad. Yeah. Especially after being a father. And also how Howard regrets so much of the, the things that happened. Like what type of man he was before Tony was born. Yeah. Because our only recollection that we saw was that his dad was a hard man and everything like that. We get that great moment in Iron Man 2 where he says, my greatest creation was you. Yeah. And him finally realizing that he loved his son. Like he, he actually did love me. Right. Um, and this is just another kind of payoff from all of that. Yeah. Right. Um, Vormir. Vormir. Red Skull. What? My question is, and someone had brought it up on another uh, review I was listening to. I think it might have been Jeremy Johns. He's like, what if somebody, other two people went there? Like, what if War Machine and Nebula went there? Who didn't actually love each other, and like the way he, well, the way Jeremy said it in his videos, he's like, you know, I like you, you're all fine, but I, I don't love you, <laughs> and like that's the, that's one of the things that he brought up. I was like, yeah, it was convenient that the two of them just happened to go to the one again. A lot of conveniences well, for sure, of course, and it doesn't ruin the movie for me at all. But it's just one of those funny things where it's like, if it was any other two people, how would they have gotten? The and stone? another thing is when they were talking about the soul stone or the all the stones. Mm -hmm back at the compound nebula must have said something along the lines that thanos killed his daughter here that's yeah. how he got the soul stone yeah. so i don't know black widow and hawkeye should have known what they had to do yeah. to get this stone well and this is where beforehand, i kind of beforehand right instead yeah. of like figuring it out they're waiting on the rocks yes uh well and this is where i kind of agree with you where yeah they kind of did black widow dirty like even though she had great acting moments yeah just her character alone was kind of not like just let benched i think you mentioned the word benched. yeah benched shelved, shelved whatever you want to call it um but them fighting it out to see who's going to sacrifice themselves was pretty cool like they it, went all out it yeah it was cool i felt it like it was it dragged a little too much did it okay for me that, the last part kind of did but yeah it was it was finally like the realization is like oh shit like she's gonna die here yeah like she's actually gone 
So. No, it was a cool moment though, yeah. seeing them both together and kind of like fighting each other to mm-hmm. figure out who's going to one off the other. So. And I'm glad. And the thing is, I'm gl- not. I'm glad. If anybody was going to do it, at least between the two of them, I honestly do think that Romanoff is the one because. Again, she went from being an assassin that kills other people, red on her ledger, all yeah. this stuff, being the Nick Fury, and then finally sacrificing herself. Yeah. So maybe from a character perspective of her, and Clint was the one that brought her in, right? Yeah. So her whole story arc coming down to that point where she actually sacrifices herself, a character that has kind of been shown to like, she thinks for herself, mm-hmm. like even in Winter Soldier, she's like, she's on another mission while Cap's doing one, and he's trying to figure out like, Whose side are you on? Like, yeah. What is your motivation and everything, right? And this is the first time where it's all streamlined. There's no secrets. There's no nothing. Yeah. I mean, aside from Infinity War, but yeah, I don't know. What uh, do you think? The, I mean, I don't mind that she was one to be sacrificed, sure. but I mean, she has a solo movie coming out. Well, it's a prequel. But it's like a prequel leading up to the Avengers or yeah something. that's fine but it doesn't hold as much you know no I don't know okay hey, that's. I feel like it's not as important anymore knowing mm. what we know I'm still curious because I want oh, I, I'm, I, I'm still and curious I think about her character's ledger. badass like yeah. I you know I think she's badass in general like her you know Scarlett Johansson nailed it yeah it's just character wise yeah. I just um the well my other thing was uh uh, even though I mentioned that I didn't like the Banner and Widow relationship, yeah, I did. However, thought it, I, I did forever think, and I've mentioned this on the show before, where her talking about that he's not the only monster that they have to become sterile to mm-hmm. become assassins. So literally giving up the ability to give life to take life away. Yeah, and she views herself as a monster. Yeah, and that's such a like that's such a heartbreaking notion, and I think that's the one thing aside from her red ledger. That decision alone to follow this life uh, and having to give that up made her feel less human. Yeah. And and that's, I mean, again, this could have been a thing of like they just wanted to do it and have a moment between her and Clint and all that. Fine. But for me, when I'm looking at it, the character of Black Widow, like this is her actually sacrificing her life. Yeah. After seeing herself as a this monster. This is her cleaning and, her ledger. Yeah. And, yeah. But also the fact that she does consider herself a monster. Yeah. For what she did. So that's that's my takeaway from it. But I kind of feel like I wish I had needed. They also, the trailer never, like they never showed her once doing the shooting thing. No. In the movie. No. they Yeah. That was also removed oh. from the movie. Yeah. yeah. And she had full blonde hair at that point, didn't she? Yeah. So that would have been. I either... think they were just throwing us for a loop in the trailers, most yeah. likely. For sure. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I I'd like to see her, you know, in her earlier days for sure. But knowing what I know of, mm-hmm. you know, what becomes of this character, sure, yeah. I just don't feel as attached. Okay, that's fair. I mean, I'll go see it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's it'll, yeah. it'll mean differently to you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um. So everyone returns home now. They're all back. They're all so back. So from New York, Morag, Nebula's stuck. So she's the only one that didn't come back yeah. and Black Widow. So how did they, why didn't they notice that Nebula didn't come back? They noticed that Black Widow didn't come yeah. back. But where's Nebula? I felt that from this point on, they completely forgot about Nebula. <laughs> like they they I actually almost feel like they forgot about her. Uh, because there's I, a lot I of guess, parts where I I'm guess like, you can say they were distracted by Black Widow's death. <clears throat> yeah. I I don't know. Wait, but, no, she did come back, but uh, she came back as uh, oh the orange she was, or as yeah, the she, evil uh, nebula. Nebula. Yeah, yeah no, she, the, that's in, why. Okay, infiltrated. Nebula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. But for a second there, I forgot that she did that. I don't think you that. see her though, like in the group standing around. I can't remember. I I've know. seen it twice now. I can't remember. There's so many parts where I where, literally there's parts where I forget that Nebula's there. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. Even though she plays like a pretty substantial part early movie. on i noticed her in everything it yeah. just seemed like they shifted kind of she kind of yeah yeah same with rocket rocket had the same thing too like if but i think that's that's them focusing everything on just our originals yeah which and i love making loved. sure that yeah. we focus on that Definitely. but you still have those like well, what about this person and this yeah. person um stark glove when did stark tech have the ability to handle infinity gauntlet well, he, or Infinity Stones. He wasn't handling it, though, himself. He was using right. a machine to handle it. It was like this little arm, robotic arm thing that was placing it into the Stark glove. No, 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 not not actual handling. I mean, like, so my brother brought this up where it's, um, Thanos had to go to Nevedalir 
to get one made. Now, the point my brother made was that he made that one so he can manipulate each one. Like, so the what that glove that he got oh, made yeah, on this yeah, planet yeah, yeah. to put them in there, my brother, in my brother's mind, it's like, well, that glove can manipulate each individual one, whereas this one is literally a placeholder to har- to, to harness them yeah. and then just let you snap. So they're two different gloves, he said. Yeah, I would Obviously, say they were two different gloves. Yeah, and, and, One uses all of them at once, whereas the other one that Thanos was can using, use, can, yeah. he has the ability to use each one separately yeah. or combine them or whatever. Right. My only thing was like, oh man, when does like Iron Man tech be able to even handle an Infinity Stone like in it? <laughs> but that's like, again, it's a comic it's a book nit, movie. That's a nitpicking nit things. Uh, well, you got to like. I think I think you gotta. You love the things that you love yeah, with all of it. Suspend all um, belief. Yeah, but you love the things that you love with all the things, like even with all its flaws, right? Yeah. Um. So Hulk uses. Yes, I liked how the they, gauntlet. I, I like that effect. Oh, man, it was awesome. As it opened up, because I was like, wait a minute, that thing's too small. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's cool. No, the nanotechnology that Star so created good. is fucking amazing, which I wish he didn't die. But anyways, because <laughs> I want to see more of it. Anyways, yeah. yeah no. Well, and, and that's, uh, yeah, that's going to be something. I think they're going to, I think he might have gifted his technology to some people, maybe. Like, I, I would imagine that maybe the Avengers might have it. Yeah. I mean, Banner's still around. and And he's, again, he's... He, is he smarter than Tony? I think they're smarter. I think I if in my head, I think Stark is more smart. Okay. And then Banner's probably smarter in different like areas of science, like sure. gamma radiation and like other varying fields in that area. Yeah. Well, in the first uh, Avengers, he had to learn about biothermal, medical, yeah. bio, whatever, physics or whatever it was. Yeah. And um, even creating Ultron. It's the two of them working together, working together. right? Yeah. To create Ultron. So Banner could definitely yeah. do it or know how it works yeah. enough to do it. Um, Hulk does a snap. And everything seems peachy. And Ant-Man has that moment where he looks out and the birds are back. And yeah, he's like, oh shit, did we it actually did it. work? And then yeah. Hawkeye gets a phone call from his wife. Yep vibrating phone it's a pretty awesome in between intertwined with this scene is when past nebula brings back past thanos and his right and his army yes yeah so crazy yeah that because was- as hulk is lying there and stark doing his uh you know his arm medic thing or whatever yeah. which is pretty cool yeah it was yeah, the same the sh- thing that he yeah. used when yeah he got stabbed when right? he got stabbed yeah. yeah or something similar to it and yeah hulk's laying there and the shadow comes over top of him and it's thanos's warship but it like raining fire all of a sudden yeah. it's just like boom that was that was everything. pretty sweet because it was just one shot yeah from that ship just and, flying right at him and <laughs> that like that actually surprised me like because lang's standing there and he's like he looks up. He's like, "Oh yeah, we did it. And everything's fine." And all of a sudden, just like, boom, and like the explosion happens, and Avengers base is fucked right up. Yep, fucked right up. I love the line right before that happens. When right before Banner does the snap, Stark I think says, "Everyone comes home." Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. I love that line. Yeah. Everyone um, comes home. And I think that's the part of the Soul Stone that's able to bring people back. Like it's. A, I mean, so if it to- must be the, what the carrier is thinking yeah. right yeah yeah um and then we we're now into it we're now into our final battle um hawkeye escapes with hawkeye the gauntlet, escapes yeah yep. and it ends up becoming what's funny is as the first one is a uh protect the flag this one seems to be like a flag uh, like a football thing where like we need to get this glove like every, there Away. are certain people yeah. handling this glove and running with it like a football like just yeah, trying which, to get it out. once the big battle starts yeah we'll get to yeah because yeah, there's a Awesome, There's lots. Yeah, yeah, awesome scenes in there. Um, yeah, old Th- or not old. I don't want to say old, but it's past 2014, Thanos. 2014 Thanos. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and so he blows everything up and he just sits there, right? And he's waiting yep. for them. Hawkeye's uh, underneath the thing. Yep. Hulk and Rocket and Ant-Man are They're stuck the under rock. all the rubble. Yep. Um, and it's Hulk that's holding everything up. Yep. And Hawkeye, now we can see the space dogs. Yeah, they're back. They're yep. back, and they're in the tunnel. Chasing and like, Hawkeye through the tunnel. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and that scene was in the trailers as well. Yep. Uh, well, there are different variations of that scene. There was one scene where it was just an explosion, and then that same scene got leaked that I saw where you can actually see the arms of the space dogs out. So people were like, well, obviously, 
he's being chased by those space dogs. Yeah. So, right. Um, yeah, I like the, when past Nebula asks Thanos what he's going to do after he arrives at the demolished compound. Right. And he's just like, wait. Yeah. He's just like, I'm just going to wait. Yeah. And it's like, holy fuck, that's badass. Yeah. <laughs> and like, and I loved how he puts his staff in the ground. Yeah. And puts, and he his, puts helmet his helmet on. on. He's just, wait. Yeah. Nebula's like, what are you going to do? Wait. <laughs> fuck, so badass. I love Thanos. He's so good. He's such a great. And I think because. Both versions of Thanos. Well, and again, both versions are two different people. I yeah. once described, um, there was a, a band, a metal band I used to listen to when I was younger called Thrice. Mm-hmm. And when I was younger, they were screamo, they were hardcore and everything like that. And they released an album, I would say like five years ago, four or five years ago. And it was a much more toned down version, but it was so clear and so concise. And you felt that these people understood life better. Yeah. And a lot of bands have gone through that where yep. early on, early in their days, they are hardcore. They're going against the system. They're, they're taking names and kicking ass. And then when evolve, they get older, yeah. they evolve. They yep. have different perspective, like different perspective on life. These two, like both of the, the the Thanos in 2014 and the Thanos from Infinity War, the same person, two different times, two different perspectives, but they're still yeah. Like, the the they're one the Thanos. same person, but and the one in Infinity War is so scary because he's evolved to that almost Joker esque. Yeah, definitely. Where he's just like he knows what he needs to do. He yeah. doesn't need to fuss about it. Where this one's like, I've got my army. I've got this sword. I'm going out. I'm going to kill people, wiping blood off. They staff, g- they like, gave us two different types of yeah. villains, which was awesome. Timelines. From two it's different great. timelines. Yeah, it's yeah, amazing. Yeah. Um, we get the Gamora and past and present Nebula and fight. Present. Oh, yeah. So cool. past Nebula yes. dies, right? Past Nebula gets shot by present. Gamora. Yeah. They had a, no, by present Nebula. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Because, uh, they're having that standoff. Yes. And yeah, then, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. present Nebula. Yeah. <laughs> she, sorry. Past Gamora lowers her gun. That's why. Yeah. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Uh, well, what's really funny. I turned to my brother at that point. I said, past nebula shot first or future nebula shot first because <laughs> like as she was speaking just like boom we'll have to wait for the lucas edits of uh of uh end game to yeah. see who shot first yeah um and then is it now that we get the trio the, the holy trinity so of the good. mcu so good against thanos this this walk up that, that was in the trailer when thor's like the whole like lightning part and everything and I forget what Iron Man or Cap says to Thor, but Thor just has that locked eye on him. And he's like, as long as we're all in agreement this time or something along those let's lines. Let's kill him properly this yeah, time. Yeah, let's kill him properly and, this time. And he's got both, like both hands stretched out, lightning coming down, hammer in one and, and Stormbreaker in the other, which I don't know how effective that would be. It seems like Stormbreaker is better if he uses both, but he could fling both. doesn't matter. Yeah, like one's longer than the other. Yeah. And Obviously, Mjolnir has more is more balanced, yes. like Vision said. Terribly balanced. And terribly balanced. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's all in the swing and all that, and all. But like Stormbreaker, the handle is like I don't think that's properly even. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. But anyway, whatever. Nitpicking. But I loved how <laughs> they converted his look. Where now he's like Odin. Yeah, and he's got the braids and his the whole, beard and or his hair yeah, and everything. Yeah, and his hair. Yeah. He is a Viking god at this point. Yeah. Like he is. Dun, 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 he is dun, dun, Odin. Dun, 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 yeah. <laughs> I think we were talking about last year when he came into Wakanda. And we we're like, how awesome it would have been with the immigrant song? It wouldn't have fit. Yeah, but it no, it wouldn't awesome. have fit. But hey, maybe we'll get an edit here. Yeah, someone, oh, somebody I'm, will. Someone out there will. It's do already it. out there right now. If you go to like people have spliced it in or whatever. Really, it doesn't work in terms of timing. Oh no, the, not the, for Infinity War for Endgame. Oh, oh yeah, they will for yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. Um. So he gets his stuff. Everyone gets like the three of them are going. I yeah. love Thanos' speech. Everything that you unable did brings to you accept now. what can be. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that, and the funny thing is, is that a lot of what's happening, this Thanos has no idea what happened, like what, what kind of burden these guys have been carrying yeah. because he, like he, he watched it through Nebula, but that's whatever Nebula saw. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas now it's, you know, especially when, when we get to it, you know, with the Scarlet Witch thing, it's like, he said it, I don't know who you are. Yeah. And that was so awesome. Um, but anyways, I love that we get a fight with the three of them against Man, him. I wish it was longer. Me too. Like batting the hammer out of the air yeah. at Thanos. Holy yeah. fuck, man. That, I can't wait to rewatch that battle scene over and mm-hmm. over and over again. Um, I, I loved how he's like, Thor, light me up, lights him up. 
And when he throws Mjolnir, it was crazy. Thanos picks up Iron Man and holds him in front and lets him get hit by oh, Mjolnir shit, too. Yeah. Like all of those moments were crazy. I just wish just the three of them had a longer fight. I think they deserve more. I think so too. I think they they deserve to fight a lot longer together. Yeah. I think it should have definitely, yeah. We could have cut more from earlier scenes and added a few more minutes here for sure. Yeah. Or extend the runtime an extra 20 minutes i hope there's an extra 45 <laughs> minutes to this movie yeah like I, I have a feeling that they might release like an there's an extended cut that I makes this so. like Four i mean fucking lord of the rings long. did yeah. it there's no way that they didn't do that with this no um okay so we get that we get thor getting his ass beat and we get and then we moment. get that moment of it was so good yep it was the moment everyone thought and it was cap he picked it up he right he didn't call it or did he just no, it it, he called it. It oh, flew shit. to him. Yeah. I thought he just picked it up. No, it flew to him. See, my thing is like. Because it hit Thanos in the head. Yes. And then kind of stopped. And then as it oh, no, flew back. I, I meant initially. At first, when I walked out of the theater, I'm like, wait a minute. How would he know to call for it? Like, But I think initially what happened is he would have picked it up because we oh, saw okay, a shot of saying. Mjolnir yeah, yeah, yeah. getting lifted. Ah, uh, got you. Okay, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah, but he yeah, so, that, so he yes. picked it up for a second. Yeah, and I was like, for but when and you then said he, he called, hucked it at him. Then he threw it and brought yeah, it back. And then he at that point, back. he has the power. Does Mjolnir harness lightning? I feel like it because how the hell does Cap know how to use the lightning aspect? Still amazing. <laughs> no, I, I know. <laughs> but that's yeah. what I thought too. Is like, okay, how does he yeah. know how to like call up for the lightning and hit him exactly in that spot yeah. and all that stuff? I'm like, okay. that was so awesome. It's though. awesome, Holy shit. But okay, and I loved how Thor was like, I knew it, like because of that his- first part where he's like spinning it and then he like jumps up and hit him. That was another page out of a comic book right there. Yeah. That was so that was such a nice scene right there. And when he when he lifted it up, like that comic book there wasn't there a comic where he does actually look up to the sky with Mjolnir in his hand and the lightning comes down? Oh, probably. I think I'm, that I'm, was the, I think maybe it was either that or a, uh, one of the pages. But we finally get the confirmation, which we kind of already he figured. He is worthy. But they gave it to us. Like yeah. that's the thing. It's they they uh, Dan Merle from Screen Junkies is like, most of the time I complain about fan service. He's like, but this was fan service in such a great way because it pays off so much that we have invested in. Yeah. Like, this was the best way to do any type of fan service. Yeah. And I totally agree with him. I loved every minute of it. And Thor looking is like, I knew it. And <laughs> everything from that moment was just like going crazy. Um, he gets the hammer, he starts fighting, but then he starts getting his ass. But then beat. he gets his ass handed to him. And then his and, shield getting just torn apart. And that fucking thing is so powerful. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. Like the strongest what? metal in the universe, my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gotta make a shield out of whatever that sword is made out of, or whatever is double that thing just Darth got Maul machine wrecked. is. Wrecked. Yeah. And um And then the Black Order arrives. Black with, Order arrives. Uh, with reinforcements. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that visual of Cap walking up on like that rubble. I don't know if you remember mm-hmm. that scene, but it's that nice pan shot where you see Thanos and his army oh, yeah. on the right. Yeah. And then Cap, it's like it's a very, you know, it's very he's very small and yeah, Thanos yeah. is very small, but it that's such a gorgeous shot. They had a lot of really gorgeous ones. There's the one of I think it was Thanos' ship going through some clouds, like green clouds or something. Oh yeah. I, I think yeah, it was yeah. earlier on or was it this one? It Hmm. I think it was this one, yeah. but there was that. There was Cap's eye. Like there was some. Really kind of reminds me shots. of like Ragnarok, where like a lot of those sequences and scenes are like art. Well, it's, the one on your on your last timeline, where oh well, yeah, the, the that thing, whole with, Renaissance with, painting that uh, of him yeah. coming down with that lightning. That is gorgeous. Yeah, that is like that is art. Like, it, that, it is, rem- that Cap facing off against Thanos and his army. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah. You know what that scene kind of reminded me of? Jon Snow, except the, when he, the Battle oh, of the Bastards. Oh, Battle of the Bastards <laughs> where he thinks he's alone. Totally. Yeah. Um, but what's really cool too is that his sword is broken exactly like it shows in Tony's vision in Ultron. I yeah. Think. And he's all, and also the placement of it because he does his get up thing. Yeah, he just... He pulls it back. Yep. Ready to go again. I'm glad that he didn't say I can do this all day because we've already heard it before. Yeah, we don't need so to hear it again. They did a good job there. And it also had the shape of the shields that he had in Wakanda, kind of. Like, it ended up being, like, just one of... Like, almost that nomad kind of... Kind of. Like, if he had another... If he had the other side of the shield broken in half and he had them on both sides, I would have been like, that's sweet. Imagine getting cut by that thing. So hard. Oh, man. So hard. (laughs) Um, So, and that's where help arrives. We finally get our money shot moment. On your left. And I loved how it came in slowly. Like, 
It was just clicking in, yeah. clicking in. And I didn't hear it at first for the first couple of times. And then all of a sudden on your left. Yeah. Uh, so good. So, so good. good. And that was theirs. Like that was literally the Russo brothers bit. It wasn't oh, it anybody totally. else's from Winter Soldier. That was the Russo brothers on your left starting yeah. off Winter Soldier or like second scene or something after the ship or yeah. whatever. Uh, or no, was it the, I think it was the opening. Uh, I'm trying to think Winter that's, Soldier. I think that's the opening was it dialogue. The opening? Yeah, because yeah. it fades into the whole Washington Monument and they're yes. running around. Yeah, that's yeah. the opening. Yeah. And the first thing that you hear on your left. Yeah. So good. Uh, and then we finally get our, you know, the rings are coming. The yeah. sorcerers are coming. Such a good moment. Literally. And for anybody that bitched that Civil War didn't have the splash page moment, this was bigger than I the remember, splash page I remember. I remember people complaining, oh, this is Infinity War. Do you know how many characters were in Infinity War? Yeah. And I was like, fuck, this is your Infinity War right here. Yeah. Like, this is the Infinity War. We have this I know the other because... movie. I know the other one was called Infinity War, yeah. but this is the infinity war right here like this yeah. is the battle for the stones this is it this is this is, this is yeah. battle for everything yeah um and everyone lines up everyone shows up valkyrie somehow got her flying uh, horse the i don't Pegasus. know where like again if i'm gonna nitpick you can totally can but i'm so i'm having such a major nerdgasm at this point oh yeah it i don't give a flying fuck about anything well else. we'll dissect it later on sure after we watch it like a you know million times million times yeah. right and it was so great and the music, my only downside was the way that they had the music. I said this yesterday. Why? What was wrong with the music? I, in my mind, if I'm critiquing something, I'll try to critique it in a way that I would do it. Okay. I felt that they used the opening. So, dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, whatever. Up, they did the it twice. Up, yep. So, the lead up was done twice to extend it. Then they got the dun, 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 whatever yeah. as everyone was coming. But then what happened is they did the second part on Thanos and everybody else, which I get we're showing our army suiting up and are showing ours. But this song is theirs. Yeah. And I wish they would have, as they had it panning across or whatever, show a little bit there because when Thor came into Wakanda, they showed uh, um, – the the brawler one and uh, Proxima, yeah, they showed their reaction to it. When the Avengers got together, they showed a quick reaction of the the Chitari. In this one, we lingered and stayed on Thanos's army. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And so, what I would have loved is a pan down shot, like they show them and they swoop around after Thanos sees it. Actually, what I would have done is this. <laughs> Sorry, they would show <laughs> Thanos first as the lead up. Yeah. And we see them coming in, but we don't see all of them. Yeah. And then pan behind Thanos, show his army, and then the dun, 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 yeah. dun, behind Thanos as he sees like everything. Or something along those lines. Yes. Or at least linger on our heroes with that song more. That's what I felt like like they could have cut it a little bit better. Yeah. I mean, I love it for what it is. It, just trust me, yeah, I it, I still love there it. There are millions of different ways sure. that we could have re edited it yeah. to you know, mm-hmm. make it flow a little better or yeah. whatever. But uh, now we've got full on battle. We had oh, Black Widow coming Avengers first. Avengers Assemble. Was, oh, he, yes. finally he finally says, says it. it. Yeah. Finally mm-hmm. says it. Because he never said it in Ultron. That's another payoff that yeah. we get. Because I think he just said Avengers at the end of Age of Ultron and then it cut. And then it cut. Yeah. It gave us that tease. And then he said Assemble. Uh, and I loved how he did it because he yelled Avengers and he said Assemble. And yeah. Like, was anger and, and like. We're doing this shit. Yep. And it was Go awesome. Time. Yep. Uh, yeah, that that was everything. Like every superhero fan's wet dream was in uh, that moment. What do I remember seeing? Rocket flying on the back of War Machine. Where did War Machine get his like thick new suit? I don't care. I don't know. <laughs> Nitpicking. <laughs> so I'm good. sorry. Whatever. It's huge. It looks badass. Yeah. I wish we saw more of it. Yep. But whatever. So it- Rocket's flying on the back of him. Yep. Uh, Spider Man is jumping on the backs. Yes, Winter Soldier or whatever. People. Yeah, Winter Soldier is shooting people. Pep and Iron Rescue and Rescue. Iron Man going all. I wish we saw more of that too. Yeah. So many things that now we just this is all we have. Well, my biggest issue with this battle, I've got two. One, they stopped so Tony and uh, okay. I don't know if it's a big issue, but they stopped so Tony and uh, Spider-Man and Peter can have their moment. Yep. They stopped so Gamora and Star-Lord can have a moment. Yep. Where we finally realize this isn't the same one and Star-Lord's like, 
whatever. I felt that take, took away for the battle, but because again, Iron Man dies at the end of this, there was no other moment to have it. Yeah. Even no, it, it like, definitely, yeah. Like we're ramping up, we're fighting, things are happening, and all of a sudden, nobody it bothers just them. Just like stops for a second, yeah. and you're like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. yeah, and that's what I I have a lot of that those issues with a lot of big battles in general, where I'm looking at, I'm like, "Wait a minute, somebody would be coming after you at this point." Like you don't have time to have this moment. Like I would have loved for them to just have uh, Peter and Iron Man doing something together. Yeah, uh, much like we Which saw. Which we never really got. No. So and. Because of how big this thing was, I'm not upset. No. It just lets my imagination run. Oh, totally. Um, uh, I like the Cap and Thor uh, interchange there. No, you have a little one. Yeah. Gives them the little hammer. Just like in, in the first Avengers where they had their scene together. Yep. Um, uh, and then when Gamora knees Star-Lord. That was great. And then, uh, what's her face? Nebula was like, well, it was either him or a tree. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, I, I, I fall in love with this guy. <laughs> I think something like that. It's like, well, that's a him or yeah, a tree. It, it was either him or a chi- uh, tree. Uh, Falcon using his wings to like stab that whatever. That was so bad. Some of those creatures that Thanos had in his army, those things look badass. All of them. That was are, like, amazing. Yeah. Ape his looking army was thing. Crazy. Yeah. His army was yeah. cool. And that wasn't even in Infinity War. Like, no, he, these he, were all yeah. brand new. Ant Man coming in and like, oh man, just shit, stepping, on, man. stepping on the. On the dwarf, the black dwarf, or mm-hmm. whatever his name was, yeah, um, the big guy, the big, oh yeah, that's what his name was, black dwarf, yeah, because that's what it was in. Like there was so much here, uh, and then obviously when Hawkeye was joining, and they they then the glove went to black then panther, the, then the glove was doing all the stuff. Black Panther remembered his name. Civil War. My name's Clint, by the way. I don't, I don't care. care. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, he fucking remembered his yeah. name. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I loved that this scene with Black Panther was so badass. He yes. Has, like, the way that he was running and moving and then, like, using his power to do it. I love how sure he was, like, shooting people. Like, everyone's yeah. back, right? Um, but the way that Black Panther was running was awesome. But then Ebony does that thing. Yeah, with the glove. he does his little, like, uh, he, what? I don't even he, know. He, I think he controls elements. Like, I, can, yeah. I think he can control things to just move the way I he wants I guess that's a good to. way of putting it, yeah. Uh and then Spider-Man comes and grabs the thing. And he has his kill mode. Insta kill mode. Insta kill. Yeah. So awesome. Uh, uh, then we have... Didn't uh, Valkyrie... No, that wasn't the scene. Uh, Scarlet Witch versus Thanos. Yeah, that was awesome. And that that was that scene Just that I mentioned. Just proves to you how strong she is. I figured that when she was able to one hand hold him back while, while he was he using had all of them. All the, yeah, that's true. And kill vision at the same time yes. like she is she should have won v1 him the whole time she was so good and that's what caused uh the rain fire because she pretty yes. much had him like she oh yeah had him yeah rain fire yeah and corvus is like it'll hit our man and he's like i don't care kind of thing yeah um strange stopping the waterfall yeah so that's why he was <coughs> preoccupied well what did strange strange also did something else where he like there was these vortexes that were created yeah. on the battlefield. I kind of wish there was, because in Infinity War, I think one of my favorite parts of the battle on Titan was his sequence. It was beautiful. With the mirror world and like creating like millions of himself yeah. and like just him 1v1 versus Thanos was amazing. That was such a, and I, I, I don't care what anyone general. says. Doctor Strange is awesome. He is awesome. Yeah. Benedict well, Cumberbatch totally made him badass. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we have that. Then he goes to block off the water, which I don't know where the water was coming from. Uh, well, the compound was by a lake or ocean oh, yeah, or right. whatever. Right. So whatever, yeah. however. Uh, uh, Cap referencing to Spidey as Queens. Queens. Hey, Queens. Yeah. So good. So <laughs> Thro- good. Throws the hammer to yeah. get him out of that pile. Yeah. Uh, it's a good thing Spider-Man heard that. I don't know if I'd be able to hear anything. Yeah, about that I, all, but you know, nitpicking, uh, nitpicking. again. Uh, How many times have we nitpicked in this? Dude, you can. No. Uh, I know, I know. I could probably. And then I further. think this is where the Thanos's ship turns our attention to whatever's coming through the atmosphere. Captain this entrance Marvel. was awesome. Okay, it was pretty sweet. The, well, I'm telling you, the usage of Captain Marvel in this was perfect. Was excellent. They they used her perfectly. Um, uh, when she came in and that happened, it was so awesome it was like well thor can do it in infinity war so why can't she 
Well, and again, hers was literally like she yeah, barreled she just through. right through it, right yeah. through it, right through it, and it, boom. Um, and I liked how like she was fighting him one by one or one on one. She had her one on one with him, and I loved how he went to go punch her and it bounced right off of her. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, he tried to headbutt her. Was I it think, a headbutt? Yeah, I think it was a headbutt. And, and like, she I, just... I love that. Okay, this is where she looked badass to me. Yeah. Where she's like looking up at him and she's just got that look and she's like, yeah. you know, flaring up or whatever with all her she's powers. Super Saiyan, yeah, man. She, yeah, she looked so badass yeah. there. But then and, it was crazy because, I mean, I don't know you could do this, but Thanos, like, he's a, he's a genius, right? Yeah. He takes that power stone, puts it in his hand and just. Boom. So that's how he can defeat her. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, with a singular power stone. Like that was so crazy. Like, I, but that part with her was was great. Like yeah. And again, they used her prop. I felt they used her awesome in this. Um, and then all of a sudden, don't we get? This is where we get the woman shot, right? Uh, I think it was before that. But anyways, we'll jump to the woman shot, which was a uh, A Force. Uh, is that what it was? Yeah, it's a uh, all female Avengers. Nice group or whatever. Yeah. I thought it looked badass. It looked amazing. I loved how it. But how? <laughs> I mean, again, if we're gonna nitpick, yep. How do all the women collectively just randomly join together in the middle of a big battle? I mean, yeah. I get it. I know. I know why it was there. Yep. Yep. And all that stuff. Yeah. And it looked badass. Yep. But I'm just nitpicking. It's My just- guess is this: in Infinity War, when Scarlet Witch was by herself, and she's like, "You're alone," and then Black Widow comes in, is like, "You're not alone." And we had that killer. That was McCoy. a pretty sweet. That was a pretty sweet scene. Too. I think them seeing Captain Marvel come in was kind of like that scene. Also, Black Widow being dead. This is like, this is showing to the audience like we started with Black Widow, and because of Black Widow, we have we have all, all these. of these. Yeah amazing characters yeah and all of these amazing characters are now going to wreck shop on everybody so i thought that that to me was more symbolic from the directors to uh, the audience because of black widow's sacrifice yeah and not and and black Widow's in the movie not black widow sacrifice in the thing but just that she was a great character right and the fact that they saw that captain marvel got punched with the power stone and they're like oh no like we're here yeah She's not, a, this is the, she's not alone. Would have been amazing to see all of them go up against Thanos. Yeah. Oh yeah. That, I don't think he would have said, said a chance. I love that Valkyrie was just went in. They all go <laughs> oh, in. Oh man. When, there. when uh, Scarlet Witch is like moving those giant uh, flying Chitari vehicle oh, things yeah. for Valkyrie to go through them with yeah. her pike or whatever mm-hmm. and basically stab it to death. Fucking so badass. Yeah. And it was, it was so like everything here was just. Again, just a nerdgasm oh, everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh visually just great. Uh everything was happening and there's so much going on. And you got to see almost every single person. I, re- I wish I would have had another Groot scene where he like yeah. uses his powers. Yeah, he was underused. He was just there. He, he just kind of saw him come yeah. back. Yeah. Uh and so But we do know that we are gonna see Groot. Oh yeah, he's later. Yeah, he's so I think a lot of it was predicated on let's make sure we give service to where we need to because we aren't gonna have these people anymore. And I'm glad they did. Me too. One hundred percent. I said before this movie came out, as long as they focus on the original six, yep, I'll be happy. Which they did. Yeah. Well and and more importantly, our original two. Cap and Iron Man. Uh, definitely. Right? Yeah. Uh and they did. Yeah. Like this was a Oh yeah, hundred percent. This was a Captain America. This was an Iron Man first, Captain America, and Thor movie, and then trickling and then, down yeah. to everything else. So then we got Thanos destroying the quantum realm. Oh, yeah, the because van. Ant-Man and the Wasp were going to go get it. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone seen a brown van? Yeah. Du, 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 du. Yeah. <laughs> Just out in the middle of battlefield. Yeah. yeah. Well, and uh, at first I was like, how the hell did it get there? I'm like, wait a minute. It was on the compound the whole time. It was on the com- like, compound the whole time. Yeah. yeah so we can't nitpick that. Um, yeah. So then he gets destroyed. Yep. And that's, I think this is where Stark and Strange have their eye contact and Strange gives them the, the that one finger so good. and Stark, I'm pretty sure knew right then and there he knew what he had to do. Obviously he knew what he had to do. Yeah. He put the damn thing on. And, and the, the nanotech played in perfectly because that's the only way they could have had the switch. Yep. Uh, so yeah, it was a nice little fight with him and Thanos trying to get the glove. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was it was really good. And, and then Thanos tells him, "I'm inevitable." Yeah, Thanos tries to snap. Yeah, and then he try. Oh, so first he says, "I am inevitable," and then he does much a like snap. he told them. Then he does a snap. It doesn't work. And this is where we get the. This is the money shot. This is the moment. This is like the twenty two year or twenty two movies, eleven years coming up to the I 
And I loved how he said it too. Like he puts the glove on, you see it, it surges through his body, M, and then he says Iron Man. Or does he say it after? Oh, he no, he says it as he as no, he says it before he snaps it. Right, yeah. but as as the power is surging, yeah. or he just it surges, it and surges, says, and, and then am, he I yeah. am Iron Man. And then he yeah. does the snap. Yeah. And it was such a great pause too, like before he says the Iron yeah. Man part. Um, Do you think the gauntlet would have killed him had he not done the snap? You think it was that powerful? He does say beforehand, before Banner puts it on, that it could kill any like. Normal regular person. normal person putting it on i think so because um, like slowly like it, you can see it kind of taking over his body kind of thing right well and and this goes back to peter quill handling the power stone yes. and how that alone would have killed him now you've got five yeah and the only way that he survived that barely because they were all disintegrating was because he is he was, ego's uh, son yeah right uh so i think that's why all five of them would have destroyed a sing like a regular person um so yeah, he gives him. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, gives him that line. I am Iron Man. Line. And then we see them dusting. Yeah, dusting, and then, which I kind of felt bad for Thanos getting dusted away. It was kind of heartbreaking seeing his army. I know he's the bad guy for sure. Hey man, but he's a good villain. He was such a good villain. It matters when it's a good villain. If he's a shitty I, villain, I, then it doesn't I, matter. I, he is one of my favorites for sure. Because of this movie and Infinity War together. He is next to the Joker for me in terms of yeah. like incredible he, he's villains. A pretty like solid, well thought out character. And I Josh think. Brolin being able to play oh, yeah. two versions of him, yeah, was outstanding. Definitely. Outstanding, definitely. Um, and Tony's dead. Yeah, Tony, well, he's dying. Um, but he's yeah, he has dead. a moment with uh, Rhodey and Peter, and, and, Peter, and yeah. then Pepper. And yeah. I loved how Pepper moved Peter aside yeah. a little bit because. It's 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 Pepper and Iron Man. Like yeah. it's Pepper and Tony. Like that's the relationship that started everything, right? Yeah. Uh, from the movie that started everything, sorry. And they have those moments and essentially it's I, like the let him rest. It's it was incredible. We what did she say? We're going to be okay. You can rest now. You can rest now. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. And the other thing is this. In Avengers Age of Ultron when he had his vision, everybody died and he was the only one alive. Yep. So couldn't save us but you couldn't time, save yeah. him but because he died him dying is what saves everybody yeah and in avengers days of ultron he was saying i wanted a shield around the world they created one with the avengers yeah his shield around the world was the of everybody that was there fighting for them yeah he didn't need to create artificial intelligence everything that he wanted to make happen and by him i mean the mcu in and then echoing into this movie yeah right that's the shield around the world Definitely echoes to the first Avengers too, when they're having that fight with, with the scepter kind of taking over their minds, oh, and yeah. then you know Cap and Iron Man are going at it too, and Cap's like, "You're not the one to lie down on a, yep. you know, I forget the exact words, uh, but lay, lay it down or and uh, lay your life down or whatever on the line or on whatever." The line, and yeah, then yeah, Stark says something along the lines of, "I just cut the line, right?" Yeah. So yeah, he does the sacrifice this time, which. I think that already got paid off at the end of it when he literally went into space well, to throw the bomb and almost yeah, killed him. I mean, like he almost died in give that him, one. I know, but, give him a break. But but all of those things were, it, it was almost this culmination of his character leading to yeah. that. To him, like, he probably knew that he was going to die there or end up in space and stay yeah. there in space. In this one, he is done. Yeah. Um, they fade away. And I think that's what. Where else? Are I we think at that no, there? that's it. Aside from seeing like you know Barton back at his house with his oh everyone family, goes back. Now. Everyone goes back. Spidey yep. back at school. Yep. Which then, the argument is, uh, it, were all the kids in school snapped? Because otherwise, be uh, yeah, there's a. <laughs> Again, I don't know time travel. I I'm not gonna let's not talk about the time travel <laughs> stuff right now. <laughs> It'll hurt. All I'm of sure because uh, Far From Home is immediately after, and it makes sense that they didn't show Stark or anything and. Definitely. Yeah. So it's, and if I remember correctly in the far from home trailer, uh, he says something along the lines of leaving the suit behind. So it's probably him just wanting to, you know, put it away for a little bit and just yeah, have a normal a life. Yeah. Oh shit. Um, and then we get the funeral of Tony Stark. Yes. Uh, I love that they, the proof that Tony Stark has a heart. I love that they brought it back. Mm -hmm. 
And that that is whole, that the, is the Iron Man. That that yeah. embodies everything about Iron Man in that inanimate object, yeah. like his first arc reactor. And his uh, hologram saying "I love you" three thousand. That was great because you knew he was good. I mean, they already planted that when he made the hologram in space, so yeah. clearly he was going to make a hologram like he made that other one right that. before they did this whole yeah. time heist thing. Yeah. Uh, then they was at this point. His daughter says, "I want a." a a hamburger yeah a cheeseburger, a cheeseburger. Yeah. you and know your dad you, you know your dad just loved cheeseburgers because yeah. yeah as soon as stark was saved from the cave or whatever yeah he had a cheeseburger um i love th- that then we have the scene of showing almost everybody right as i meant a lot of people in his funeral um We've got Pepper. We've got uh, we got the Everyone. kid from Iron Man uh, Three. Iron Man Three. Yep. I didn't realize that until someone mentioned it in another podcast. I was like, "Oh shit, that kid grew up." I mean, Stark did gift him with a bunch of technology at the yep. end of Iron Man Three. So he probably saved his life because the kid's life wasn't very good, from yeah. what I understand in that movie. Uh, and then we have Nick Fury at the very end. Yes. And he's there. He's back and everything like that. The guy that started it all. Mm-hmm. Or got Iron actually, Man to start. Yeah, yeah, technically, yeah. Um. And then where then we cut to Cap and Hulk and Falcon and Bucky, and Cap's going back. Isn't well, it? they uh, first. I think we see um, who's at the lake there: Scarlet Witch and Hawkeye. Mm-hmm. And they talk oh, about yes. yeah, as you know, he wishes that you know Romanov can see. You know that they were successful. That they were, yeah, that we did. Scarlet it, Witch was like, yeah, they both can see it. So right, yeah, it's a nice little moment they have because they, 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 yeah, Hawkeye, close. yeah, Hawkeye did save yeah. Scarlet. Well, not saved, well, pretty well, almost like he helped he got Scarlet her out of well, yeah, Civil War. Yeah, yeah, got her out of the compound there. Yeah, so and, they're they're connected, and she trusts him because he's yeah. the one that got her into the Avengers to begin with. He's the one that gave her the speech and all. Yeah, that's right. Right, and then Thor leaves with the Guardians. As guardians, as of, the guardians of, of the galaxy, galaxy. so good. Uh, I think they dropped the ball on making uh, fat jokes. Quill making fat jokes to Thor because Thor was the whole. He was the god back then, or yeah, yeah. And everyone was making fun of Quill, Quail yeah. for uh, yeah. <laughs> for being fat. That's in true. Infinity War. I think they could have reversed that. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Because uh, he definitely looks like just a nice little funny more sandwiches oh, more yeah. than than what whatever. I'm gonna get a dumbbell. You know you can't eat those, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but that's gonna be awesome because the Guardians and Thor were are just awesome together. Yeah. And he comes in, he's like, "Tree, so, how you doing?" Or whatever, and like he hugs a uh, sweet rabbit or whatever. Was that earlier? Was that in this part? I think that was in this part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I feel like the next Guardians, I know it's a few years out, but they'll probably have the whole searching for Gamora. Yes, that's what everyone's... And that yeah. Adam Warlock, because I know Adam Warlock and Thor fought in the comics. That would be awesome. Yeah. I want to see so, that. And Taika Waititi, I think, is pitching Thor 4 or something like yeah. that, which is also awesome. I Yeah, I'm 100% on board with him. Yeah, I would follow him uh, almost everywhere. Yep. Uh, and then where are we at? Uh, yeah. Hulk tried to bring Black Widow back. That was before mm-hmm. the whole time travel thing. Yes. At the end here. And this is the end. Yeah. Well, and then we, then we got Cap. So. Then we got I, Cap going I, back. I feel like Bucky knew that Cap wasn't coming back me within too. 10 seconds. Yeah. Me too. I think, uh, like he understands him more than anyone. And I, I loved how they did the scene. Like, don't, don't do anything stupid until I get back. All the stupids it, with you. All the stupids with you. Captain yeah. America one just reversed. Yeah, fucking love it. Well, yeah. Well, we'll get to like kind of a final thoughts thing uh, there, and then all of a sudden they look, they see there's an old man sitting on a bench. Yep, and it's Captain America. He had gone back. He put. He placed all the he stones. Put all or the stones back. Put the yeah. hammer back. Put the hammer back. The shields. How, or he nitpicking, but him. how yeah. does he put the soul stone back? Dude, that's a good question. Maybe he hid it under his porch. What? <laughs> <laughs> but like Red Skull is still there, I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. So is he just gonna walk up to Red Skull and be like, "Here, here's the stone back." Also, the Nazis lost. Yeah, I hope we're cool still. <laughs> <laughs> um, was it just me or was Red Skull voiced by somebody else? I feel from like I, Little from Finger. Infinity War. It felt no, yeah, I felt like because gu- I know from uh, from Infinity War, it's someone else, Ross Marquand or something from The Walking Dead. Walking Dead, yes. But I feel that the guy that played Little Finger actually voiced Red Skull on this one. I had a Little Finger oh, really? vibe. Oh. I, I think so. I could be wrong. I feel like yeah, different. But anyways, yeah. whatever. Um, and he looks at him. We see the ring on his hand. Yeah. 
Uh, you're going to tell me about her? Yeah. And he's like, a, what is it? Something no. about not telling or a gentleman yeah, doesn't I, tell or something. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah. Something along He said it was lines. beautiful or something like that. He, he made a really nice comment about how great it was. Yeah. Um, also, uh, a little factoid that I found out. Cap can age. It yep. was the icing that de-aged him. Because Same with the Winter was, Soldier. Because he was infused with the Super Soldier yeah. serum. That's what kept him that, alive. That kept him alive. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't prevent immort or it doesn't create immortality. immortality. Yeah. You can still die. Yeah. Yeah. And all this time we were thinking that Cap is gonna die, but it's actually much nicer this way because yeah. this is the ending that he deserves. Because he always wanted to be the fighter and he never got peace. Yeah. Ever since he got like even since he was young. Iron Man always wanted to be the partier and stuff, and he's the one that ended up sacrificing himself. The the make the weapons maker becoming a weapon yep. type of thing. And so th- yeah. does this mean Cap was well over 170, almost 200 years old? Maybe he did it. 19, well, I mean, I'm 1940 assuming serum... to 2024. Yeah. So whatever that is. Yeah. And then he goes back to 19. I don't know, 70. Something let's like say. Okay. Where he sees Peggy and mm-hmm. then lives out from the seventies to twenty twenty four again. Maybe that's not. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Maybe I don't know. My math isn't that great, but that's. I'm what, guessing what? the serum also helps him live a little bit longer. Oh no, definitely. I'm just seeing. But I'm that's just, a good question. I'm just curious to know what his exact age would be. I have no idea. There's too much math for me. It's <laughs> definitely over one hundred and fifty. It's yeah. got to be. He's probably in that two hundred yeah. range. Close to two hundred. Close to two hundred. Yeah. Like one ninety seven. Something like that. Nice, nice one ninety. Yeah. Well, which, which the sad part is, he probably lived about eighty years without Peggy. Yeah. So, and while he's back in history, he's living in that timeline where he's still frozen, and then he's also during Battle of New York. There's three caps now during that little sequence. That oh, yeah. if you think about it, that's before he comes back to the present time timeline. Anyways, just nerd, yeah, that's a really good point. Just nerd stuff. There. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then Falcon. Gets the yeah, shield. Yeah, he gets his shield. He's a new Captain America, which I kind of figured. Yeah. Um, I, I figured he deserved it the most because he's been with Cap more often, <clears throat> yeah. like the most. And Buck still has a lot of baggage. Yeah. I mean, he's done a lot of things. Sure. Sam is more of an American hero, war vet. Yes. Whereas, yeah. you know, like I said. Buck and he's trained that. with Cap longer. Uh, yeah. He was on the new Avengers team. He was with him during that point with Infinity War after Civil War and everything like that. Like, there's a lot there because Bucky was in Wakanda. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, and then we get the end. Yeah. No. His... Po- oh, no. We never talked about the the 1970s Stan Lee cameo. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. okay. Yeah, it was all right. I was expecting something better. Yeah. The Captain Marvel one was very Better. nice. Oh, Captain Marvel one was my favorite. Yeah. I think. Yeah, it's a this really, one. Really I don't. Nice one. I didn't. I didn't really care for. You just. It was just a throwaway. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I feel like it should have been better, seeing yeah. as it's his last one. Yeah, I mean, I can imagine that one being bigger because it literally just happened. Like it was very yeah. close, to, or not literally, but it was very close to one. It was the next movie after his death. Yeah. But I thought this one was going to be a little bit bigger. Um. That's it. Final thoughts. Oh, man. Because we're uh, at uh, two hours and 57 minutes. I don't even remember how long our other one was. I think it was about that time. Yeah. Or about the same. Maybe. But this one is, this is it. Like, we're, we're not expecting anything. We're not waiting for anything. This is the end of, well, this is yeah. the end of the line, pal. Uh, the things that I did hate, like I said, was the Hulk and Banner working things out off screen. Sure. I didn't like at all. Uh, how they kind of handled Black Widow, I didn't like. Again, two of the six original sixes, you know, felt they did her dirty. And I feel like they could have brought Vision back. I feel like they mishandled him a little. They kind of dethroned him, depowered him a little in Infinity War. He was nothing in Infinity War. Yeah. He's supposed they, to be like this I amazing f- being and he can't do anything. I feel like the Russos can't really handle really powerful characters. Well, and, and the reason is is because if you've got super powerful characters with not very super powerful yeah. characters, like magical characters, like drawing lightning, you have to nerf them to be able to make them make sense. Otherwise, they can just come in and do whatever they want yeah. and take away from everything else. No, it, I can understand that's sense. a tough line to walk, but yeah. I totally get what you're But I mean, you from. got five years. Mm-hmm. I'm sure uh, like a full gray vision would have been cool to see. Mm-hmm. But Anyways, it is what it is. Those are real, like my main gripes with the movie. But yeah. aside from that, yeah. It's... Did it feel slower uh, than I know when we first yes. talked? You said it felt slower the first time. It did feel a little slower. Still the second time. Yeah. Yep. Nothing. Not that that's bad or anything. Nope, nope. It's just 
the pacing was a little kind of drawn back a little bit. Okay. Whereas like Infinity War, things were just kind of booming, right? And happening real quick. Well, this is what makes me think that it is Infinity War Part 2, even though they said it wasn't. Yeah. They filmed it at the same time. And to watch them both back to back, like we've got our ramp up moment like in Infinity War where things are going crazy. You got your high. We got our super high. And then all of a sudden we've got our, what the hell? How do we fix this thing? Yeah. And, and what the aftermath, right? And that's what makes it such a great companion for me to Infinity War. Yeah. Yes, on its own, Infinity War is a better movie. But in the context of the entire universe, this is it. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Like, this is the one we all wanted. This is the one we needed. This is the one that the pays best conclusion so much they could have come up with. For I think sure. so. I personally think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you can nitpick the hell out of this yeah. thing. We did a couple times. And yeah, you have to. Like, if you love something, you love it for its faults and its greatness. It did its best when it came to all the characters. Yeah. And can I also you can feel that the Russos had a lot. Like you can kind of feel how much work they had to deal with. Yeah. Um this is it for them, hey. That's it. Yeah. Unless At least for now. Do, un- unless they do secret wars or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Uh and the other thing I wanted to say, which uh like the amount of care and love they have for these characters yeah. and for the fans. Like that's what shows in this movie. Yeah. This is them. My my gripe when I was talking about Captain Marvel was that whoever created it or wrote it, directed it, felt like they didn't give a shit about the previous movie, the universe, the universe at all. It was that's why I gave it such a low score. It was, it was just a group of people that could care less. All they were told is just make her great, and they yeah. just shoehorned everything they could and took away. I felt they took away from the universe just to prop her up. Yeah. This is the exact opposite where they did everything in their power to give everything to the fans and yeah. so much love and care to everybody that was involved from day one. And I agree. that's where I'm looking at it. I'm like, this is incredible. This was the ending that I didn't even know It was know a perfect end to yeah. 11 years, yeah. 22 movies. Started with Iron Man, ended with Iron Man. Cap yep. got a great send off. He got to have his dance finally, like moments like that. I mean, the Hulk has always kind of been just there. It's really and, hard and, to... Uh, yeah, and that goes all the way back to like Fox owning that property and yep. kind of them meshing it together. And, yep. Yeah. And even in Avengers, Which is unfortunate, the but... Yeah. But they used them perfectly for the first yeah. Avengers. Uh, and then they used them okay in, in, in Ultron. I thought it was pretty good because that Hulkbuster scene with the Hulk yeah. was amazing. And there's, again, he's another overpowered character that we kind of have to bench a little bit because he would take away yeah. from everything else. Um, so yeah. let me ask you this. Please. Your top four Russo movies out of these. From the MCU? Rank, rank them in order. Best to worst. I would still go. Or not win- worst. But- yeah. I, I would still go Winter Soldier first. I would probably go Infinity War. I would go Civil War, I think. Uh, what else? Which other one was and it? And then Endgame. And then Endgame, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And then, I think like, I would go Winter Soldier, obviously. Yeah. And then maybe, well, it's a toss up between now uh, Civil War and Infinity War and then Endgame. Yeah. Yeah. So about the same. Yeah. Pretty damn close. I mean, and again, that's not taken away from Endgame. Cause it's not taking away as, from any of them. Yeah. yeah. As standalone films, but Endgame is what caps it. And I can't wait to see both. I can't wait to have like, two things going at once and then the second infinity war is done end game is starting because yeah. like they you can just see they go together perfectly mm-hmm. i feel that they would go together they definitely perfectly. do yeah and because of the way that the one ends versus the other yeah like the one ends with the dusting then all of a sudden you get clint's dusting yeah right so the just, dusting it just continues, continues and it flows. just goes yeah. yeah uh what else we got Oh man, I think that's it. How long are we at now? Three hours and two, three seconds, four seconds. Holy seconds. shit, just as long as the damn movie. Yeah, man. Well, last time, I think it was almost <laughs> exact same because we went through the movie. Nailed it. Yeah. Perfectly balanced. Nice. As all things should as be. As all things should be. My partner says I can't say or I can't quote anything else because the the, the movies are done now, but don't worry, I'm still going to sneak them in. Yeah, of course. I can't wait for that box set. <laughs> oh, me too. I don't, I don't even know what that box set would even look like. Because I, I know, either. like, I, I was thinking, like, Breaking Bad is an actual barrel. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like that oil barrel or whatever. Oh, they this should have be the cool. Tesseract case or the gauntlet. If it was oh, the gauntlet, man, if and it was like, the gauntlet, slide I'd, it open. I would buy that. Yep, yeah, me too. And that would be a massive one, too. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Um, All right. I think that's all we got for you. Holy shit. We did it. Yep. Endgame. Endgame. Uh, 
thanks so much for coming again, man. Man, it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, we didn't my jump around nearly as much. Yeah, either. my job here is done. Yeah. Uh, and a little bit more focused. If you want to go back and listen to our Infinity War one, I had a ton of fun on, with that one too. It was so great. These are and, great, yeah. Uh, we got now Endgame. The ending of, again, the this run years, of the 11 movies. years, 22 movies. Obviously, the... The, the Infinity the, Saga. The Infinity Saga, yeah. yeah. Um, obviously, the MCU is going to keep going. Yep. We're going to go along for the ride for sure. It'll be really tough to top this one, though. Top it'll be it'll one. be different. It's Very like different. this is like the end, right? But yeah. not. It's yeah. weird. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the movie as much as we did. Um, if you didn't, hey, sorry. But that's it. Jimmy, thanks again, man. Thank you for uh, having me. And I want to shout out once again to all your friends for yes, joining and, and following excited along. To hear this. Um and uh yeah, if you got any comments, I mean you can find you can email us at the F word podcast at uh gmail.com you can also find me on twitter at the f words g make sure you're following entertain facts on instagram and the f word podcast on instagram and until next time i'm g and me and jimmy are out this time bye